Chuck's gonna put the hot dog in the bun. Hey, everybody, we're all gonna get late. Buckle <laughs> up and kiss my ass. And welcome. Is that supposed to be sexy? <laughs> oh, you got me. <laughs> and welcome to the Opie and Anthony Show. Hey! It's Friday! Yes! So damn uh, excited. What are you, gay? Uh, no. Huh? What? Uh, no. You're the ugliest stripper I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it's my second job, though. No. Couple phone numbers in the New York area. 877-692-1027. Anywhere else. Wow, I need a drink. All right, relax. Yeah. Beer on the way. Anywhere else, 866-2774-WOW. Oh, it's all going. 866-2774-WOW. Wow. I hate this place. Nothing works here. The medications don't work. I've been here for seven years. How about a nice bucket of eggs? How about the bug? The bug. Oh, jeez. I don't want to get the eggs, fellas. All right, Butters. Who relax. does, Butters? All Butters uh, show next South Park, by the way. Nice. Calling it the most buttery episode ever. It's about time. <laughs> yeah, I know. They should have done the spinoff uh, already. He's a standalone character, Butters. Yes, he is. It looks like you're just supposed to roll it over your wiener. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Butters rolls. All right, well... Couple things uh, right off the bat. Oh Jesus! I don't want to get the thoughts, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> the stinky cam is alive. It is. The stinky cam lives. What maybe, happened? Maybe we should have tested it on a limited basis. Yeah. Um, how do we get the stinky cam working again? I don't know. I don't know who controls it. I don't know if it's on right now. So. I just don't know. Just proving once again that we are the stupidest radio hosts in America. Yeah. We had that hot piece of ass in here yesterday, Terry uh, Weigel. Uh, and no one saw her. No one saw her. But we made sure the stinky can't work for today's program when we do What the Hell Is That? Could be the most disgusting program you've ever heard. I think. I think. We have a bunch of people coming in with uh, physical anomalies. And they're going to have them checked out by uh, doctors. So what the hell is that? You know, people go through their whole lives and they're looking at something and they go, what? She says, what the hell is that? I want to go to a doctor. Well, they could come to our show. I hear one of the doctors, though, uh, is a piece of A. What's his name, Opie? <laughs> uh, but we're, uh, we're waiting for Sandy Kane to arrive because we will yeah. diagnose what the hell Twato is finally. She inspired the, the whole thing, really. Yes. When you think about it. She uh, came in. She's got this growth that we have uh, affectionately named Twato, uh, and we don't know what it is. There, are, there, are, uh, 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 the people have ideas what it could be. Could be a genital wart. Could be um, uh, uh, keloid scarring. People keloid. have been uh, saying that. That's the odds-on favorite. That's a really? keloid scar. Because he's done. I got, I got it from shaving. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask, what is, what is a keloid scar? I don't know. It, uh, yeah, I don't know. You nick yourself, and then it just goes... Uh, it goes crazy. It goes crazy and starts growing and stuff. I don't know. She's got Rocky Dennis's head there. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. A Rocky Dennis. My mom said I look like a cowardly lion from the Wizard of Oz. Thank God you're blind, bitch. Nice. <laughs> Poor little Twato pulling those little pins out of the map. <laughs> Not going on his trip with his buddy. Because he's going to die. Hey, uh, I, did, I saw that movie recently. Mask. Mask. And um, that scene at the camp... When the girls, uh, uh, Laura Dern's uh, parents come to pick her up, and she goes, I want you to meet Rocky. And she's blind. You know, she can't see this guy's just a monster. Wait, wait, wait. Laura Dern was in that movie? Yeah, she was uh, the blind girl. No kidding. Yeah. Go ahead. And uh, the parents are standing there. When Rocky comes running over, and the parents turn around. Oh, let's see Rocky, the one you've been talking so much about. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> They're looking. It's like, hello, well, get in the car. Time to go. <laughs> Great, the sensitivity. All right. Wonderful and, movie. Uh, and you still haven't answered my question, though. Uh, how do we get the stinky cam working? Okay. I don't know. What? Is it on that computer now? It's on this computer. Oh, boy. 
Uh oh. I gotta get it linked into mine. I'm in control of multimedia. So when does this freeze up? Um he <laughs> just he just got it installed today. He, uh -oh. he said we can turn it on and off from uh, this laptop here. And as soon as as soon as he gets more time, he's going to make it so you can control. So uh, when is it going to be? Is it online it's right on now? now? Let me let me take yeah, a it's look. On. It's, it's a, on. It's on. It's showing the door as people come and go. Oh yeah, yeah. You can go to uh, opianthony.com to get to it, I believe. Yeah, stinky cam. Ooh, the warning on there. I like that. You got to be eighteen. There it is. There's a, a picture of a door. Um, there it is. Prove that it's working. Norton, stay there. No, image it's... image reloads. Uh, get a get a picture of uh, Norton's melon there. Boy, they don't have a quick reload time, do they? No. Oh, well. And it's still the door. Still the door? Yeah. I sure hope it works. Sorry, it still will be Norton now. Oh, you got, you got an updated Norton, Norton picture? Now. There's Norton. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow, you do look like a lesbian, dude. If I didn't know you, man. Where is it? The... There he is. You're off. You're frightful when you don't see Is that out of focus, or is that just the way he looks? Now it's, just... now it's your coffee. <laughs> now, now there's your Starbucks. Okay, this is really All boring right. for most people. Well, so. no, good. this is something that has been uh, in the making for quite a while. We will uh, we'll be able to now bring you some still pictures at an update rate of about uh, 10 uh, seconds per picture. All right, there so, so there you have it. Uh, Anthony, before we uh, get started with the what the hell is that festivities today? Yeah. Uh, you wanted to to talk about Geraldo really fast. Yeah, yeah. We we and why wait? Because you're just ranting in the back office. We mentioned a story yesterday where uh, uh, and Fox News is making a big deal of this. Um, uh, Giambi going to the Yankees? Yes. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I know. Oops. Oops. <laughs> a little premature. <laughs> Well, we're not going. He's not going. Well, it's not a well, done deal. Not we reported uh, as a done deal yesterday because we wanted to, you know, be the first to do it. You know what happened? <laughs> you know what happened? Steinbrenner heard Norton's rant and said, I'm going to back off on this a little. <laughs> the new whiny Steinbrenner. Yeah, I know the Mets got justice. Whatever. Did they? Yeah. yeah. There you go. We traded him. Go ahead, Anthony. Geraldo. Anyway, uh, big story yesterday was um, how Geraldo ducked out of the way of a sniper's bullet. And uh, the, the uh, Taliban almost killed Geraldo Rivera. He's there with Fox News. Is there? Then they got to say this, and I know it was him that put it in his contract or something. This guy's the most pompous buffoon. He, he, he probably said, "Every time you go to me, you must say you are now going to uh, Tora Bora with war correspondent Geraldo Rivera." He wants to be war correspondent Geraldo Rivera. So uh, uh, yesterday we talked about how the sniper almost uh, hit him. I finally saw the clip last night. There's Geraldo. He's uh, kind of crouching down. He's uh, in the desert, obviously, has a microphone, and he's doing what they call a wraparound. Kind of like um, talking about how he's going to be going out the next day with these uh, Alliance uh, soldiers. He goes, and uh, we will be going to a mountain range that uh, the Taliban have been fleeing. And then all of a sudden, I heard no shot. I heard nothing. The camera guy wiggles the camera a lot and Geraldo gets even lower on the ground but continues doing his wraparound and doesn't move if if you heard a, he goes and I heard a sound that many veterans can recognize the bullet winging inches from your head inches inches from his head he said this he said this and meanwhile he cramps down a little lower the camera guy kept the shot on him and he finished his wraparound with a, a, just a little gap. He's like, and we will, tomorrow we will be going into some caves where we will be. That was it. Dude, if a sniper's bullet just missed your head by inches, would you not The cameraman is not cover. continuing to, to, to film. Cameraman not filming no you. No way. Geraldo not continuing to do his little wraparound. He is seeking cover. You take cover. You know what? Didn't happen. I'm saying it right now. Geraldo planned with his camera guy. You know sensationalist Geraldo. He told the camera guy, when I hit this word in my speech, you listen for it, and you shake the camera. I'm going to get down, but continue filming me. And we'll say that a bullet nearly missed me. This is going to be great. I don't believe that he, a bullet came close to him. I didn't hear it. Nothing. Then later on in the broadcast, because now I'm just trapped. I have to watch. <laughs> uh... He, he said they cut into a program like they go, oh, oh wait a minute. Wait, we got to go to Geraldo, our war correspondent live from Afghanistan. 
he's going, he, he, the, the camera shows a B-52, the contrails coming off the wings. He goes, B-52 is now flying over our position. Uh, within minutes, you will see huge explosions in the mountain chain across this valley. Keep the camera over there. These B-52s weeding out some of the Taliban that are here. Any minute now, you're going to see giant explosions coming from this uh, mountain chain. Any minute now. It's going to happen. They're at very high altitude. Was he live at this and point? Live, dude. <laughs> live. It went on and on, and then he goes, uh, sometimes they don't drop their bombs if well, we're a little too close to the position. Well, um, they should have exploded by now. <laughs> Back to you. <laughs> Nothing. Good. It was Al Capone's vault all over again. And I'm, and I'm an ass. I'm caught up in the whole thing. I'm sitting there going, oh, my God, I'm going to see bombs. Geraldo, you rule. And he jacked me again. Nothing. I saw nothing. Nothing. It was Al Capone's fault. I was captivated. I'm like, oh, they're breaking in. They're going to Geraldo. What happened? B-52s. I see them. Okay. Bombs are dropping, Geraldo. All right, I'm with you. I'm watching and watching and watching. Nothing. Nothing. He is the most sensationalist uh, uh, I, 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 for a better word, journalist. I, I can't call him a journalist, but yeah, you know, I can't think of a better word right now. The guy is making up stuff over there. He is making up stuff. I don't care. It's entertaining. I like watching the goofy Geraldo dodging fake bullets, but it's, it's, it's. He is the furthest thing from a legitimate journalist, war correspondent. So uh, maybe watch him. I'm probably giving him a plug. You're gonna want to watch him now. All right, there you have it. <laughs> What an ass. So my F.U. first one to Geraldo. That's right. War it is F.U. Friday. Friday. So uh, Amul, Amol. Hey, what's up, boy? What's up? Will you? Not much. Hey, you saw SmackDown last night? I missed SmackDown, but I got the report that, <laughs> that the Vince thing was uh, beyond hilarious. Yes, it was the best thing you can ever And Anthony, Vince had to uh, kiss The Rock's butt. Yes, and uh, right at the moment that uh, Vince was supposed to kiss The Rock's butt, uh, basically The Rock said that uh, Vince wasn't worthy. And then he brought out Rikishi. Ah, uh, so uh, Vince had to kiss Rikishi's ass last night. Ah, uh, I heard it was great. It was great. Oh, last thing. Thank you. All right, Bye. thank you. Bye. <laughs> I missed it because I went to see Louis Black at Caroline's. The man killed last night. How is Louis? Good? Really good. He's going to be playing tonight, Saturday, and Sunday. If you have no plans, that's something you can certainly do and, uh, yeah. and enjoy, man. He's he uh, all new material too. Well, a life is his uh, material, which is great. You know, the guy just gets out there. L uh, did he do a lot of stuff on uh, airport the security? Situation? His airport security stuff. Yeah, yeah. just top notch, top notch, top notch. Uncle top John. Notch. Hey guys, what's happening? What's hey. going on, Uncle John? Hey, I want to be a character. I want to be. I don't answer to my name guy. You want to be? I don't answer to my name guy. Yeah, I'll be uh, I'll be Ted, and you'll call me Ed, and I won't answer you. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, so like I'll be, I'll be sitting here talking, saying, "Oh yeah, I'm on hold, but don't be an answer." Hey, listen to this fool. We're calling this guy Ed. You don't answer him. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you can start screaming at me, and I'll say, "Hey, my name's Ed." I like it. <laughs> cool. Thank you, Uncle John. All right, man. All right, bye. Bye. Oh, I've got to restart over here. All right, now where's Rick? We got to see where we are. I know the doctors are arriving. Some of the people are arriving. Yeah. What do we got outside so far, Ben? You know? I, have no clue. I heard Stinky doing the confirmation calls last night, Opie. He's in the office calling up all the people. Hi. You said you were going to come down for what's that? To the Opie and Anthony show. Hi. Hi, it's Scarrett Stinky. <laughs> well, he used to say Stinky. And I'm like, dude, don't say that because, like, parents are answering. Yeah, it's Garrett Stinky. No, he left Garrett. a lot of, lot of messages on machines is what, pretty much what... Uh, what he was getting. Well, I don't think he got any live people on the phone, did you? No, very no. few. Yeah. Well, what do we got outside so far? All the doctors are here, which is great. Amazing. All doctors, no, no people yet? As far as uh, people that need to be diagnosed? At least they're not down here. They might be upstairs oh, getting oh, checked out by Steve. All right, this better not be uh, Britney Spears all over again. I don't want to have to uh, resort to uh, uh, us telling doctors about our own problems. <laughs> <laughs> and we have many. <laughs> Must be nice, though, to have doctors wait in your waiting room. Hubla, <laughs> <laughs> hubla. Uh, Dan, what's going on? Guffaw. Hey, just wanted to <laughs> congratulate you on your Cracker Jack show prep, making sure the sticky cam was ready at the crack of 308. Wait. Isn't that great? Well, sure. Gosh almighty. Next thing you know, you're going to be ready at 2.55. Well, we're, Slow down. We're show prepping more uh, lately. Thank you. 
Hey, one other thing. Yes, Dad. Sounds like Geraldo sent the perception on uh, distance the same as Opie from the World Trade Center. <laughs> uh, very you good. guys suck. All right. Missed by inches, and by inches I mean miles. Lisa, what's going on? What about Girl? I thought you guys were going to do the tribute. Uh, we did the tribute. Did you hear it yesterday? No, well, that's the thing. I missed it yesterday. Oh, okay. So you guys I'm going to sit early in the show. It's 3.20. Let's go. You know, Lisa, we'll do it right here. How's that sound? That sounds awesome. Thanks. Right, I'm going to hang up on you so we could uh, set it up, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you, Lisa, for reminding no us. Yes, uh, Anthony, uh, Steve from FoundryMusic.com put together the Black Earl tribute. Yes, it is haunting. A uh, takeoff on uh, Brian's song, basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, know, uh, you know the story, our own Earl who does nothing around here. Token black guy. <laughs> Doesn't really do much, right? Yeah. He'll admit that. Mm -hmm. But uh, we like the guy. Right. We ride him a little too hard sometimes. Uh, he was in the hospital with uh, bleeding ulcers, almost bled to death. Have we heard from Earl? He's out of ICU, I guess. Is he? Right? Out of ICU, but refuses to take any of our phone calls. Why? I don't know. I think I he got a little pissed it. off at the tribute. Yeah, How could pissed. you get pissed at a tribute? The tribute getting rave reviews and Earl very, very mad. He, he called, called out the, the love. Line. He called the hotline right after we played it and told Stinky, it's over. And, and I just hung up. That's the last words we have heard from Earl. It's Play over. Playtime is over. It's over. Jesus. He's too much. And I felt a little guilty because he had a little episode and uh, on the show live, and then next thing you know, he's in in uh, ICU with, with bleeding ulcers yeah. and stuff. So yeah. Anyway, Steve put this little uh, tribute together. I hope you enjoy it. Okay. Mm -hmm. ABC and the Wonderful World of Disney present an extraordinary production of the story of Earl Douglas. Go. Yourself, okay? He had survived every format change at WNEW. I'm the public service director. But would he survive this tragic ordeal? Earl, are you okay? What you have on your chart? No, I have an uh, ulcer. Two of them. No one knew that a stress-free job could be so deadly. They uh, took a camera, ran it down my throat, made a wonderful journey through my stomach. Watch as Earl clings to life in the intensive care unit. He's not responding. He's just sitting there kicking his feet. And he looks like he's going to kill. Somebody. I guarantee you someone will get injured and it won't be me. With the public file in disarray, the staff of WNEW tries to cope. Who's going to sit in the back cubicle and do nothing all day? Oh. <laughs> Who's going to hang these pictures? Our token black guy, he's gone. Who knew Scott Muni would have outlived Earl? Showed up for a sticker stop on time. <laughs> Wait, Earl's not here? Hey, look, CDs. Watch as Earl faces struggles inside the studio and out. Earl, I have a question for you. Is it true that they wanted you to work harder so they're going to do a melanin extraction? Next question. Yeah. If Earl's on the road to recovery, won't he get lost? Tell me where I'm going. From ABC Television comes the triumphant true story of laziness, mediocrity, Virginity and internal bleeding. Guess what? No one cares. Earl's song. I love you, Earl Douglas. Go f yourself, okay? Opie and for me. Their psychosis is all real. This is not an act. Ponderous. Effing ponderous. <laughs> the Opie and Anthony Show. They're checking out the Opie and Anthony Show. It's FU Friday. Yeah. We're playing What the Hell Is That Today? All the doctors are here, and some of the, the people have started arriving that want uh, things diagnosed. Beautiful. We're helping again. Again we help. We have a uh, ex-Playboy model who's now a doctor. That never happens. Wow. She's smoking, though. And, and she was on Temptation Island, the first one or the second one? Yeah. Uh, first one. The first really? one? Yeah. Well, who, who, who is that? Uh, uh, we'll get her in here, man. Peter, what's going on? Yeah, hey, what's up, man? Hey. Hey. What's up? You uh, tell us. You're on the radio, bro. I'm on the radio. Cool. Yeah. I want to know what you guys think about this Johnny Walker dude. Oh, kill him! I've been in the Gulf War, and if I was over there, I'd give him a... 
a 5.56 millimeter anima, if you know what that is. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, yeah, I'm sure he is uh, not being kept uh, in the most comfortable of places. Uh, I'm sure the company that he's around, uh, he'd rather not have around. It's the United States uh, military, CIA, and whatnot. And then that tape yesterday surfaced of... Uh, the dead CIA agent, the guy that died in the prison uprising, nah, actually he, interrogating this son of a bitch. And uh, minutes later, the gunfire starts. And uh, about, calling him this poor misguided dude. fellow. Hey, Peter, I think Peter. he's that that poor deceit. Go, just go. Hang up on him. Oh, I hate people. <laughs> you're asking a question, and then you yeah, can't even answer know. the question. A, like like you're answering it, and then he starts talking about something else. You were still going, weren't you? But Bush did call them some poor, unfortunate fellow. You know, Bush doesn't want to uh, uh, come out screaming about some 20-year-old, I guess. You know what I mean? But I don't care how old this guy is. Yeah, you want to go into drugs or get some tattoos or a piercing? That's one thing. You start picking up guns and shooting at American soldiers, that's ah, a little different. I don't think you should have called him a poor, unfortunate fellow. He's a traitor, should be uh, tied to a pole, and shot. Thank you. All right. With that, uh, we have... Uh, Look at the hotness in the studio right now. Hi. Hello. Are you How are you? <laughs> Good. Uh, wait, doctors don't wear leather outfits I like wear, that. Well, I don't wear this to work. I wear the jacket, but I thought I'd, you know, get a little more interesting for... What kind of doctor are you? Just your basic uh, general practitioner? Family practice. Family oh, practice. Yeah, oh, it's my. a specialty. You know, it took... That's great. Three years after med school to do... I got to ask you something. When you get a boy, you know, <laughs> mid to, to late teens that come in and, yeah. and they have personal problems, it is a little, a little weird for them to, uh, you know, pull their pants down and... Well, they have no choice because I'm allowed to say, you know, pull yeah, your pants down. Out. Yeah. But so but you know something? I don't know if it's weird for them or not. They they don't really say anything. When you're checking for she that hernia, ask. Turn and cough. Yeah. When well, <laughs> I don't do it that way. Though. No. How what do you do? It? What do you do? Well, I mean, they're, they're not, a couple I of drinks. I make, no, I just don't make them turn. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! You're not gonna cough on me from three feet above. Like? I had a god, I had a goddamn German doctor as a pediatrician when I was a kid, and uh, obviously, and uh, Doctor Fuchs, and she would be like, "Take your pants down." <laughs> And it was the most like this big Helga woman, you know? How old was she? Oh, she was Older like... lady? Especially when you're a kid, she might as well have been a million. Right, right, matter, right, right, right. You know? But I couldn't imagine walking in and going, oh my God, this is the doctor, now i got to show my, my short prepubescent schlong to. <laughs> you know? Some of them tried to refuse when I was uh, yeah. seeing kids, but... Yeah. You know, they really couldn't. What so. idiots. What about the uh, adult men that come in that don't really, uh, aren't really shy and they want to show you maybe something they have uh, under uh, their underwear or something? It's a little weird. Only a few times have they ever seemed to be too excited. Oh, really? Oh, so yeah. you Does that happen? That. Yeah, and you're just What, do you give it the to... flick? Pong. No, <laughs> you're just supposed to sort of acknowledge, oh, I guess everything's working okay. And, you know, not pretend like you don't see it. Right. <laughs> hey, want a tug? Yeah. <laughs> you know, something like no, that. No. I knew some, I knew some uh, nurse, uh, and uh, she said sometimes the guys uh, would be aroused yeah. when she would come along, and she wouldn't think twice about it. She would just take her, her middle finger and use it to flick. You know, I get... Uh, you th and just go punk, and it would go away instantly. And really? she she wouldn't talk about it, wouldn't say anything, just go punk, and then and it would start go doing away. Oh, instantly. Huh. Yeah. Maybe it was just her. I don't know. Well, I hired her for one night, and she wore a nurse's outfit. So what? <laughs> maybe I'm speaking out of uh, turn here. No, no but uh, very very nice. We don't doctor. even know her name. We don't know yeah. uh, what she has done in the past. My name. Yeah. My name is Allison. But, uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. Dr. Allison? And what have I done in the past? Well, you were on uh, Temptation, I was on Island. Temptation Island. You were yeah. on Temptation Island. Yeah, Why don't I remember that? I stayed on to the end. My hair's all like curly and messy because we were in the jungle humidity. So I'm trying to remember I, this. I, I, I watched that show religiously. Kaya, and I, I, I stayed on until the end, went on the final dream date in the cave. You were the cave, the, the girl cave in the cave. Girl. Wait, get, yeah. wait, 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 Kaya. Ah, why did you take Kaya, Kaya. my boyfriend? That woman. Oh I need God. to take my hundred vitamin pills. She was crazy. <laughs> She's absolutely. That date insane. she went on. That poor son of a bitch that oh, got Dano, stuck with her. Dano, Dano, oh, guy. he's my friend. Yeah. All I can yeah. think about is Kaya. Kaya. She's great. Like, oh. <laughs> we were huge fans of Temptation Island, the first one. Yeah, because yeah. it was just such a mess. I loved yeah. it. You were yeah. the one, that, like, they were swimming and stuff, and they had a slow motion shot yeah, of you, like... Hair flipping. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Right. You were the 
hottest uh, one. I was with the hair flipping. But Hell I was like, yeah. I but the lab coat is throwing you off a little bit in the lack yeah, of tan. The, nice. Yeah. No tan, right. <laughs> yeah. it's like but, I mean, the body's still there. <laughs> still there. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's she cool. She went on the dream day with Kai in the that's cave. Cool. Uh, and I never <laughs> forget about it. Sounds like Lisa uh, Orban went on that. She has herself convinced that he never kissed anyone there. And and it was funny because really? on the reunion show, they like show as she's saying that in the background over her shoulder, him kissing like two different girls, you know, and she's like, well, he was a perfect gentleman. And, oh, oh, no. God. Well, it's a what about you? Did he try anything? Did he make any moves? Was he yeah. really looking to close the deal? Um, well, I won't say exactly what happened in the cave. No. They, they really did take the cameras away for 12 hours. They did? Yeah, and people think, like, we're making that up or stupid because you see footage of it. Well, they had them on us when we got there, and then when uh -huh. we were there, they took them away, and then we were freaking out, like, all right, where do they have them hidden? Like, we were, like, tearing apart, like, the whole uh -huh. canopy we had. Oh, really? And now, why would you be doing this? We wanted to know if we were on camera. Or privacy? Or was, yeah. was, was it anything more than <laughs> kissing? Yes. There was something a little more than kissing. Yeah. <laughs> I won't say. Oh, oh, look at you. Because you go from kissing, the, the next thing yeah. is, uh, you know, maybe well, some hand action. And you can't, things I like that. You can't say, that. but did, did, did any, would you have heard this? <laughs> <laughs> Norton, you are despicable. We the one with the doctor. We drank some champagne. I don't know. Did like, like, yeah, see, very good. The, the, very the, good. The, the white foamy stuff? Uh, yeah. I don't know. How many caves were being explored? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you there, are there despicable. There were too. Big <laughs> well, you're beautiful. You also were in Playboy? Uh, in 1995, in the Women of the Ivy League issue. Mm -hmm. right. 90, I love those issues, the yeah. college girl yeah. uh, issues. I was in med school, so they didn't God love it. damn, where is that? So you're a real Ivy League girl? Because I always thought that was fake. Yeah, I was the in college. med school at Penn at the time. And I went to Penn State for college, so I've been to like both. Both hey, times. anybody, uh, instantly uh, uh, give us that picture on uh, the internet. <laughs> it's yeah, on people, my old website. People are so resourceful. Oh, it's not up on your website it's now? It's not on the new one. The new one's like the, sort of the professional one. Oh, it's on we, the old one. We need, it is? We need is that address still there? Yeah, I can. Oh, yeah, write can, it down. It's too complicated. I'll Just write it, yeah, write it, it down. Don't give it out because our listeners oh, no. have to wait. Ha ha. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wow, wait. Write this down. Isn't this... This is great. I She's like in everything. She's a professional thing. woman. She was on Temptation Island. She, she did a little more than just kissing. She was definitely the and hottest girl on Temptation boy. Island. And Kaya was stupid to go back oh, to that whining bitch and, and blow you off. Kaya. You know, he wanted to... They all wanted to stay with their girlfriends. They didn't want to look bad because they wanted to go into entertainment. Right. And they would have looked totally scuzzy to be like, oh... Are I'm all the couples still together? Do you know offhand? Um... <laughs> Well, all, Kai and Valerie are together. I don't think White Tossy and Tahid were ever really. No, that, they were the, the black couple. They were hilarious. All I know, yeah, they were a mess. Um, and they weren't even included in the reunion. And so, then Billy, yeah, Mandy apparently a, aren't. And uh, Shannon and Andy got married. But they wanted to do that from day one of the show. Right. So. All right. Yeah. So are you trying to be an actress or you're going to do the doctor thing for a while? I would like to be doing more medicine and media. Combine those two. Medicine and, and media. Do, yeah, well, I'd like to. Well, be you're doing that today. Funky Doctor Drew <laughs> thing, you know. You're doing it today with the Opie and Anthony show. Yeah, <laughs> this is good. <laughs> you're gonna see some horrific sights today. Oh, I can't wait. We may show you something that you have never seen before. No. Yes. Oh yeah, it's something called Twato. What? Twato. Twato. Did you, did you make that one up? Uh, no. Well, it's... Uh, I think that one's made up. We, th we think it's a genital wart, but we're not sure. Well, mm. that's not called Twato. Huh? We, th we thought it... It might be on it. Well, we just no, we just call it that oh, because no, of yeah. Twato. We no, named it. You, you see uh, Total no, Recall? Did you ever see Total Recall? Ooh. Total Recall. I'd get your ass to Mars. I might have fallen asleep during Yeah, it. well, uh, uh, the guy had a conjoined twin named Quato. That oh. knew all, told all, like and a parasitic twin sticking. Yeah. Out? Okay. So we call yeah, we call it a, a, a like twato. a little head or something. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Parasitic, parasitic twin. twin. That's, that's it. The, Conjoined yeah. twin is the full. That's when you got a full, full sort deal. Of body. I love doctors. Yeah. <laughs> I would love her to be my doctor. I can't find that website, by the way. <laughs> I don't think it's uh, active anymore. Oh well, it, sometimes it gets too much business and they shut it down because it's on mm. a free server. Right. Well, you know what? Yeah. One of our yeah. listeners has to send the picture, please. Yeah. Somebody probably has. From the ninety-five. Issue. Yeah. Oh, you know where else it is? Huh. Um, I'll write it down. My friend has a website. Oh, you write that down now. There yeah. we go. Get that website. It's, uh, uh, it's yeah. Penn State tried to sue him for it, but they didn't. All right. Uh, Mike has a question for you. Mike, what's up? 
Yeah, I was interested into knowing um, what do, what perks do they get to try to get this score with the uh, opposite sex? Because it seems like they're all overly aggressive. You mean in real life or on Temptation? Well, secretly or whatever, because it just seems like, you know, it seems like half the time, especially on the new one, yeah. they're like attacking the people. Oh, well, on ours, that didn't happen. And there wasn't, and there was, there were, was no incentive financially or otherwise to, you know, hook up with anyone. But the new one, I've heard rumors that there's some ringers and some actual strippers on the show. Oh, really? Yeah, some They're trying girls. to spice it yeah, up a little bit. Some of them are just. You know. Yeah, I can believe that because I was watching last night and, you know, yeah. everybody's crazy for that Edmundo and I don't know what they see yeah, in the guy. I don't know either. <laughs> and they're attacking him. Yeah, I think. See, we blew off the Temptation Island yeah. after the first one. Yeah. Like the first I, I one, didn't get hooked night. on the second one. So. Yeah. yeah. First one was better. I didn't like the cloaks when they came out and <laughs> dropped their cloaks. I don't know if you Yeah. Saw All right. Ciao, yeah. Oney. Thank you, Mike. Thanks, man. <laughs> Did you find the picture in? Uh, we're still working on it. I see a lot of party pictures. <laughs> I see you uh, with a chubby guy with a huge beer in his hand. Yeah, that's Mick. He's a really nice guy. I see I you. Wow. With a, a little top on at some big outdoor shindig. Oh, that's Preakness. That was a couple of years ago. Wow. What? Wow. You know something? <laughs> the top you are wearing right now is very deceiving. Yeah. It is? Yeah, let me see. It is? Y well, sort of. They're, they're squished together. You could see. You could tell. Yeah. You could tell, you but know, it's, I, but when you look at something I like that, I'm in naked or anything. Uh, this, oh, believe me, we wouldn't argue. Yeah, let, turn it around, Anthony. Please look at uh, look at that one. Oh yeah, say. Oh, that's that's a horrible picture. Well, you got you got to check no. out the old website when it's when it's not being blocked by Yahoo. I want. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wait. Look at that picture of you. What's that? Turn it around, Ant. Oh. That. One. Oh yeah, that's it. That's the. P Wow! Oh my God! That's that's from uh, Playboy, that's huh? Playboy. Yeah, were, that there, were there others? Um, yeah, Playboy had posted them up on their website. After I was on the show, they put yeah. up like eleven more from the they did. Shot. Yeah, of I course I made no money off of it, but you know you had to pay to see them. So. That's a great shot there. Yes. Uh, Looking uh, good, Kurt. What's going on? No, no, I was just looking at the picture. It ain't nothing. She ain't naked. Uh, what? what are you talking about? I'm looking at the Playboy. It's October. Uh, October '95. The one where she's on her belly? Yeah. Well, you get to see the nice that, butt. Yeah, right. but no nip. Yeah, right. Not worth Technically, it. it's not nude, which is really funny. Technically, that's yeah. not nude. Semi-nude, semi as you can see, nipples. Full nudity is pubic hair. So it's barely right. spankable. I am not nude. Barely oh, spankable. Dude. You can imagine I a batch in, all over that butt. The cheeks are I amazing. In, I was in med school at the time. You You're know. easily pleased. So you could bring that Playboy issue home to mom and dad Leave and be proud. Hey, Kurt. My father gave it to me. I, I hey, Kurt, you faggot. Hey. Use your imagination, man. Look at her ass. The whole page is covered with nude chicks and she's not nude. That's a great ass. She's a doctor though. To see a doctor's hiney like that, that's so nice. Oh, please. It's a nice hiney. Oh, a nice hiney. Geez. You sound like a four-year-old. Kurt, there's nothing wrong with leaving some for the imagination. Yeah. Hey, go, go, go get a copy of Swank and look at roast beef falling out of places. <laughs> <laughs> you you nut. <laughs> All right, thank you. Later. Let's go to Jim. Jim, you're next on the Opie and Anthony show. What's up? Hey, Jim. Hey, yo, hey, O'Day. Yeah. Oh, I've seen the issue. Uh, pretty much what you guys just been talking about. She's definitely really hot. But yeah. um, the she, thing is, she has a second issue also. I think she did it twice. Is that true, uh, Alison? No. Did you ever show uh, the, the breast there? Did I? Yeah. No, well, I didn't not do the it guy. again. Huh? I don't know. Maybe he showed his breast. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. You, don't no, you don't want no, to? Or? Because like, we're now seeing some other shots of you where you're uh, more naked and kind of... Oh, Kind of covering yeah, up uh, yeah, the top those area. Were the other Playboy ones from oh. the same. No, she was like naked in uh, Temptation Island. Oh yeah, well. You get to see it though. I ran right. They didn't show it. I, I we went semi skinny dipping one night, but I every oh. time I got out of the water, I had them covered. Wow. So. very nice. All right, Jim. Thank you. Yo, thanks, guys. Lee. All right. <laughs> oh, what website's that? <laughs> There's more pictures of you. I don't know. I'm I'm putting in passwords now. <laughs> I'm, I'm, there's all kinds I of stuff them going on. I found on like Russian porn sites. Here it funny. is. <laughs> Let me. But see she said somebody. there's no naked pictures of her. Completely naked. Actually. No, no. There's uh, not naked. Just about. But, uh, but no. wow, that's pretty good. There's a shot of you. Your leg is up. See, you're, those were the you're bending over. Your your arm yeah. is just covering nip. Mm. All right. <laughs> Maybe okay. give her that. Then there's other shots that are like the uh, shot that was in the magazine. Gene, what's going on? Oh my yeah, what's up, guys? Hey. 
Yo, remember me from the other night? Eating the Mad Man. Yeah, what's up, bro? Yeah, what's up, dude? Listen, how do you guys watch this crap, this Temptation Island? Uh, we're I not, just had a question. I like the first one. I didn't watch the... We, uh, yeah, we got hooked on the first one. I, I haven't watched really? uh, one I episode really of the really second one. Yeah, because I'm wondering, because these people go on there, and then at the end they're crying about, oh, well, you know, I can't believe he did this. Well, what do you think you're getting into? Exactly. When right. you get on a show like that, you know what I mean? It's, exactly. You know, it's just BS, man. And yeah. what was she, one of the temptresses? I was a temptress. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah see? And, I then, mean it. and then you're screwed as the guy, because if you go in that situation, you blow off your uh, your girlfriend that you went to the island with for a hot piece of ass like uh, this doctor over here, <laughs> you're not going to want to date that guy, because you see what he did to his, you know, his girlfriend, right? Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, exactly. exactly. wonder who yeah, did I wanted to say something else, man. Norton Rules. Yeah. And, uh... Jay Moore sucks Patty's dirty toenails. There you go. Ouch. Jay Moore right. playing Rascals tonight. Two shows. Oh, right. Jay Moore? Yeah. You got yeah, a lot I, of... Uh, I won't be there. All right. Uh, thank you. All right, dude. He's got a lot of more fan. A lot of the doctors are uh, hitting on you. No. No? Not where I'm working now. <laughs> or maybe at the gay are. hospital? Where are you working? <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Hey, awesome. <laughs> well, I work at 7 p.m. to 7 a.m., so it's really late at night. Yeah. And, uh... Just imagine what you could accomplish you know, during so those I hours. Those are the time you could push her into the pharmaceutical closet. <laughs> Not I'd, much security around. I'd constantly be showing up for checkups. And, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got that on your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you have to be sick enough to get admitted to the hospital. Oh, he's the sickest you're ever yeah, going to see. I mean, I mean just look. <laughs> Uh, are we going to spend this much time with all the doctors? Hell no. <laughs> of course not. She took up all the other uh, all the other time with the other doctors. Right? Yes. Oh, they're going to be mad at me. No. All right. Well, she's going to help us today with, with yeah. what the hell is that. That's now, you, are you ready for this? Because I... I um, yeah, I think so. And, and you, some of the people out there. Yeah. You, now, you're probably pretty familiar with people that are coming in and going, hey, what is this? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, family practice. Well, so right, you'll be able to give like a little, you know... A little recommendation, a little guess. maybe a little yeah. guess, something no, like of that. Of course, not an actual diagnosis. No, it's not a Nobody, diagnosis you know, or anything. Right, it's just right. probably you could tell people, hey, you go to a doctor and have this yeah. checked out. I believe it's this. Yes. And uh, something like that. I understand. Yeah. All right. Well, sure. We're going to talk to the rest of the doctors, and yeah. then I think we should start the festivities. Yes. Right. We have a few people standing by, and we'll have them come in, and they'll uh, strip and do whatever what? they have to do, and the doctors <laughs> will. Uh, We'll take a look in the uh, uncovering I've there. I've never seen a naked person. <laughs> yeah. Okay, doctor. All right. As we go to break, uh, the FU line, a very popular feature on the Opie and Anthony show. You can go to opianthony.com to get the number of the FU line, all right? Yeah. Let's check it out, see what's going on today. Uh, it's A. Ah, it's, a hi, it's A. It's not B. It's God, A's people a. wait for that. Here. Hey, thanks for calling, and here's the Opie and Anthony FU line. I want to turn out a big you to my former boss norm your company's a joke everybody left you behind your back you couldn't run a f***ing lemonade stand if you lemons and sugar f you next message just want to say f you to peter signs it's in high school for all the work that we did on 9 11 and he never said thank you f you next message this is an f you for Airlines, who made me seven hours late getting home Thanksgiving weekend and had me in the air for over eight hours and only fed me pretzels and soda. F you, you suck and you deserve to go out of business. Next message. Yeah, I want to give a big you out for the ass responsible for the piece of metal stuck on my tire. Thanks a lot, dick. End of message. It seems like every hole in my body is exploding every liquid imaginable. OB and Anthony. Go check it out, the OB and Anthony show. Yo, yo, yo. If you're in the New York area, 877-692-1027. Anywhere else, please give us a call, 866-277-4WOW. Those two numbers should be up on opianthony.com, as well as the phone number for the FU line, Anthony, right? Right. Yeah. Well, we just met uh, Dr. Allison. Yep. She's going to be helping us out with uh, what the hell is that. The grand finale of today's show will be the diagnosis of Squato. Uh-huh. That growth that is on Sandy King. Uh, 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 oh. Before yeah. we get the doctors in here and a couple of our uh, cold patients, 
Yeah. Uh, we got to talk about the, the homeless shopping spree. Homeless shopping spree 2 happens this coming Tuesday. More giving from the Opie and Anthony show. We love to give back. A lot of people still trying to figure out what mall we're going to. We don't even know. It's down to three malls. And we'll decide early next week. Yeah. We're going to uh, have a bunch of homeless guys shopping. We're encouraging the listeners to join them and help them out and join in the, join in the fun. Right? Yes. And we've been meeting the uh, homeless people that are going to be uh, joining us this Tuesday. So we've been uh, talking to them on the phone, out on the streets. We've met Ziggy. Uh-huh. We met Tippy Tom, the, uh, the gay homeless guy. Yeah. We met Sperm yesterday. Who's uh, got the bug, from what I hear. Sperm's got the bug. Got the bug. The hiv. And it's time to meet a new homeless guy that'll be helping us with the homeless shopping spree. It's Rock and Roll Tommy. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, Rock and Roll Tommy. Yeah, I can hardly hear you, man. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Why is that? I don't know. I guess it's the telephone. Well, we'll talk a little louder. All right. Ro why do they call you Rock and Roll Tommy? Because uh, I'm, about, I'm 50 years old. I played drums for a long time. I played in a lot of bands. Yeah? Uh, Are you Ginger Baker? I run around. I'm a homeless guy. I run around with like 500 CDs, man. 500 CDs. Wait yeah. a minute. I, I don't understand. Why? Humble pie, thin lizzy. No, why does, why does a homeless guy need 500 CDs? Because where I do, need my music, man. Where do, you, where do you plug in so you can listen to I your plug freedom plug in into my CD player, bro. Where's your CD player? In my, right in my pants. Oh, you got like a Walkman. Yeah. A discman. So all, he, all he needs is batteries, Anthony. That's right. So why are you uh, homeless? Uh, uh, what was the big day? Where, Where did it go wrong? It's a long story, man. The heroin. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's whoa. all right. All right. We've got to watch the S word. But it's the heroin and the methadone and all that fun stuff that uh, led you to the road. Uh, road yeah, but I, I hear you got a lot of criminals coming on your truck there, man. No. Yeah, I, I have, man. Wow. Is that the word on the street? Oh, Keith got people he just locked up for assault coming on that truck. <laughs> well, that's fine. We don't mind a little assault. I don't mind. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm brave. Hell, uh, assault is not what you should be worried about, man. I'm broke, you know, and... Uh... You got to worry about the bug. Huh? Hey, Keith. Uh, Keith. <laughs> Sorry, Keith. <laughs> rock and roll hey, rock Tommy. and roll Tommy. I was yeah. looking up at the screen. Yeah. Tippy Tom is my main man, man. Oh, yeah. I taught oh. him how to be homeless. Oh, you did? I hope you didn't teach him how to be gay. That's yeah, got to be taught. Hey, he's a good friend of mine. How do you teach someone to be homeless? Don't go in that house. <laughs> don't you live under that roof. <laughs> yeah, well, See, you're making a mistake. You're living under a roof. Let me no, teach don't you. Don't go in that house, please. Well, why don't we ask him? How did you teach him? What, I mean, what did you teach him? I just taught him not to go into any doorways with the the building. Why, why, why is, is that? that bad? Because there might be a ho home in there that he could live in. No. no, no, no. Uh, yeah. I, saw, I saw you. Rock and roll, Tommy. Uh, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. When I meant rock and roll, Tommy. When you see rock and roll, Tommy, he yeah. looked like a ma. He looked like uh, he was at a GQ two years ago. Oh, uh, yeah? Now he looks like, like uh, a... Uh, a piece of cheese has been left out too long, man. Oh, my God. Hey, Rock and Roll Tom. When you meet, when you meet Tippy Tom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, we're looking forward to meeting Tippy Tom and, and looking forward to seeing Ziggy again and meeting Sperm and meeting yourself, Rock and Roll Tommy. You know, I mean, you got a lot. Do you know Sperm? I thought Keith was just trying to get up the 14th Street of Sperm. Uh, Is this on the radio, by the way? Yeah, hey, yeah, hey. we're on the radio. Can I'm I, on the radio I, right I, now. I'm trying to ask Rock and Roll Tommy a question. Oh, okay. Rock and roll, Tommy. Yeah. Where do you keep 500 CDs? In my bag. In your bag? What, you got like a backpack? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was curious. Uh, do you, you don't have a shopping cart? No, I'm not. I don't, I don't have a Cadillac. They call that a Cadillac on yeah, the street? Yeah, a Cadillac. <laughs> <laughs> the shopping cart. Now, are the people with the well, shopping... Yeah, the large shopping oh, carts and the small ones. The small ones are Volkswagen, the large ones are a Cadillac. Rock and roll, Tommy. Are uh, the people with uh, shopping carts, are they looked up to or looked down upon? Uh, I don't know. It depends where you're looking at them from. No, I mean, is it a, a good thing to have a shopping cart out on the street? Or is that like, ah, uh, a person can't even hold his own stuff on them? Well, I keep my stuff hidden. You know what I mean? I keep my bed in hidden. You, you stay I got a whole I have a whole bedroom hidden. You have a bedroom that's hidden. Now yeah. is it is it above ground or underground? Yeah. No, I, I have it hidden 
I have it hidden in scaffolds. Scaffold. And scaffold like a construction scaffolding around the city somewhere? Yes. And then uh, at night, you go back to the scaffolding, you take out your bedding, and where do you put it that uh, is warm and dry? Oh, uh, well, I can't tell well, you Well, don't that. tell me exactly, but what, what type of structure are you in that, that keeps the weather off you? I have a, uh, a piece of plywood over me. Ah. I have a, uh, uh, a load of corrugated under me. I have a, uh, a mattress. A, a corrugated, very good. It keeps and, uh, the water off. I have off. about three comforters at this point. Three comforters. I you're, bet they smell great. You're living large, bro. No, I'm not. Do I you? mean, it's sad. It's real sad. Yeah, yeah. Hey, well, I, it sounds I, I have lived large. Well, do you want to get off the street? or? Yeah, I do want to. I do want to. I'm, I'm looking to. You know? st you're still doing the drugs there, uh, rock and roll? No, movie? I'm just on methadone. Well, that's but, I mean, methadone is worse than heroin. I don't know if you know it, if you're familiar with this so you subject, got, man. But, uh, so you got to line up for your shots or what? Huh? You got to line up for that stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to get into a detox. Oh, yeah? To get off the methadone, yeah. Yeah, that's some rough stuff I hear, huh? What? Yeah, that's rougher than heroin I've to get I've been in off. jail, man. I've been, like, you know, six, seven, eight, nine days without it. And, and Keith will tell you, he's, he's, he's the one who locks me up, man. <laughs> Keith has locked me up about six times, man. I'm a frequent flyer with what, Keith. What do you do that uh, you get locked up for? What are your uh, little Drinking. crimes? Drinking, what, in public? Drinking beers. And you're just drunk? And, Drinking uh, the beers. Are you belligerent yeah. when you get drunk? You get rowdy at all? No, I'm, you know, that's why I'm saying, I mean, I've... You know, people have said, hey, Keith's looking for you. Keith's looking for you. And everyone I know that Keith has told about this thing has, like, been arrested, the like, within the last three weeks for, like, beating down uh, on somebody, man. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're going to have a fine crowd. Yeah, know. yeah. You know, I mean, I'm not afraid to come, but, I mean, it's... At this point, it's the gonna, it's be gonna, really It's going to be a, a, a fiasco. It's going to be a lot of fun, uh, Rock and Roll Tommy, and we would love to Ray extend Wilson, the... Ray uh, in a, in a, uh, thank God, he's in a, uh therapeutic community. Oh, uh, because we're looking for Gray Wolf. No, he's he's in uh he's in a therapeutic community. Right. Oh, that's oh, all right. Hey, hey. Uh, I keep, I, you know, I... That's I, okay. It's uh, You're talking like you're on the street. Rock and roll, Tommy. We would like you to join uh, the rest of the guys uh, for the uh, uh, homeless shopping spree that's coming up. Uh, you want to go? Definitely. All right. We'll toss you some cash and uh, you'll go shopping. I just want to ask him two questions before we let him go in. All right. Uh, rock and roll, Tommy. You know any mole people? Any what? Any of the mole people, the people that live underground? No, I haven't gotten that far down. But you don't know any of them? No. They live, uh, they take, uh, uh, they don't even mingle. Any other question? Uh, what was the last movie you saw? Uh. That's a good question. The last movie I saw was, uh, uh, Blue Street. What, which one was that? Martin Lawrence? Yeah. Oh, oh, you oh, saw Blue that? Street. Dave Chappelle. Yeah. Ma and... I saw it in jail. Oh, you saw it in jail. Okay. Yeah. They hooked you up in jail? For it was one? great. Oh, in jail, you see a whole bunch of movies. Was, it a, was that a movie or was that just actually Martin in jail acting it out? <laughs> <laughs> rock and roll, Tommy. You rock. All right, man. Uh, we'll be looking forward to uh, seeing you at the homeless shopping spree, man. All right, buddy. All right. Cool. You, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, nah, we'll, we'll hook you up. That's cool. You know how many people are going to be there, though? That's all right. That's all right. Don't worry about it. All right. It's going to be like 100,000 people there. <laughs> all right, my brother. Thank you got me down on the list, right? You're on. You're on, man. All right, thank you kindly. All right, there he goes, rock and roll Tommy. All right, God bless you, man. And you too, uh, giving away uh, confidential information that we had to dump He out. didn't know, though. I understand. Ex-heroin addict, he's on the methadone. And he, he gets can... arrested uh, all the time for uh, drinking, drinking. He's got 50 CDs in his backpack. 500. He, oh, 500. He, he doesn't have a Cadillac. <laughs> he just goes with a backpack, and he sounds like a very interesting guy. Yeah. Oh my God, man! We got. And he knows uh, Tippy. Uh, he knows Tippy, Tippy Tom. Tom. He knows Tippy Tom, the gay homeless guy. So we're gonna we're gonna have a fine crew. Who he said looks like he uh, came out of GQ two years ago, and in two short years he looks like old cheese that's been left out. That's funny. <laughs> so, right. oh my God, you know the malls have got to be scrambling. Trying to figure out which mall we're going to with these guy guys, and what the hell are they gonna do? to try to uh, stop it. All right, here's the roll call, Anthony. We have Ziggy coming back this year. We have Tippy Tom, mm -hmm. the gay homeless guy. Yeah. We have Sperm, who has the bug. 
<laughs> yeah. We have Rock and Roll Tommy, who's an ex-heroin addict, and he's on the methadone. Yes. And uh, let's not forget, we have Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Well, not the Snoop Dogg. No, but a guy, uh, he's joining us for the second time, Snoop yeah. Dogg. Cool guy. Very cool guy. So <laughs> hopefully we'll talk to some more of our participants. Today. Oh, I can't wait for this as the day <laughs> continues here on the Open <laughs> Anthony Show. I just can't wait to hear about the horrified mall employees. <laughs> Jason from Saddlebrook says, uh, are we sure that Rock and Roll Tommy isn't really Lane Staley of Alice in Chains? <laughs> Could be. I thought we were going to talk to uh, Rock and Roll Johnny Race. Uh, <laughs> rock and Roll Johnny. Rock and Roll. 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 Everyone. Johnny Race. Rock and Roll. Rock and Roll. Now we got Tommy rock and roll. All right, Jay, what's going on? Not much. I just wanted to know if that guy showed up that I... He sweats on half his face when he's running, and uh, the other half when he's on uh, the sauna or something. Rick, he is here. All right. Do we have any uh, wings from Hooters? Ah, uh, they're they're on their way. All right, good because hot wings make him sweat on one side of his face, and the other side's completely dry. And then if he works out, where he builds up a sweat, he'll sweat on the other side of his face, and the side that. Uh, sweats with the hot wings is completely dry. Right. You're a big fan of him, Jay, or what? Um, well, I just found it, it sounded pretty funny. I do a lot of funny stuff, but uh, that kind of, I think, tops me. All right, cool. Uh, I, when are you going to have another one of these? Because I know what is that, but I have something I can do that's uh, pretty outrageous. What well, do you do? What can you do? All right, it sounds, I know it sounds weird, but I can eat like anything. Like if you, if you were to give me a Big Mac, I can eat the whole thing and any, you know, just swallow it down, and I can bring up any part of it. Like, no if you want me to bring way. up a pickle? I can actually bring up a, a piece of pickle. Rick, book it. Rick, <laughs> book it. Book it. Are you kidding me? No, it's really weird. Now, how can you distinguish a, a pickle from a piece of uh, lettuce ground or beef tomato or tomato? Or, yeah. yeah, I can just, I can, I can taste it as it comes up. It's really, it's really strange. It's really strange. But when I was younger, I used to do it with like goldfish. I can do it with ping pong balls and. That. I want to see the Big Mac trick. I want to see you bring a pickle up after you eat it. I will definitely do it. I work for an airline, so I fly for free. Right, well, oh, great. Where do you live, bro? I live in Boston. Uh, so you're going to have to come down for this one. What did you say? You're going to have to come down to New York to do it. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. All right. Hey. All right, Rick, make sure you get his info, and uh, we'll hook that up. Hey, Jay, you want tickets to the Pats game or what? Do I want tickets to the Pats game? Yeah, can you go? Sure. I, I'm serious. I mean, these are very uh, valuable tickets, but we'll give you a pair if you if you're going to use them. Absolutely. All right, we got the uh, pair of tickets to see the Pats this uh, this Sunday with uh, with the Browns at Foxborough. Wow, that'd be awesome. Tickets courtesy of WBCN. Hold on the line, all right? Sure. Jay's going to come down to, to Boston, uh, from Boston to show us a few uh, tricks. That there. sounds like uh, some kind of uh, uh, that's a real talent. You could swallow a Big Mac, and then we tell him, all right, bring up a tomato. And he'll he'll bring up a tomato. Bring up a pickle. He could bring up the pickle. I got to see that. Mike, what's up? Hey, guys. Hey. Just wanted to keep you up on some of the street lingo. Yeah. I just learned a new word. It's not A's and it's not the HIV. It's the ninja. Ninja? The ninja. That's like what it. they call it. Because it creeps up on you and gets you? <laughs> That's it. I like that. The ninja. He's got the ninja. <laughs> I think we'll be uh, seeing that on What Did We Learn at the end of the show. And we, we, and we know what a Cadillac is. Right. Cadillac, the big shopping cart. Take it easy, guys. All right, Mike, thank you. You ever see the tandem shopping carts some of the homeless got? It seems like the real bad homeless have the carts, though. Yeah. Like they're the real kooky ones. I saw one guy, he had tandem carts, two shopping carts linked together. He's pulling. The front had, uh, had all of his gear, and the back was all cans and bottles. Like that was his commercial, his business venture. <laughs> and then the other one was his home life. Very he resourceful. Them separate for tax purposes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> tax purposes. Uh, Do we have uh, time to start? What the hell is that? Yeah, we could go a few more minutes here. Why don't we get the doctors in here? We met uh, the lovely Dr. Allison. Also helping us today, Anthony, is Dr. Mike, a guy that just wants to be called Doc and right. Dr. Rich. Here come uh, the doctors. Look at that. It's like a soap opera. The doctors. Hey, why don't the guys dress up in their leather outfits like Dr. Allison there? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of Dr. Allison, guys? You see many like her around? Oh, yeah. The hospital's yeah, loaded. Wait, you got to talk into a mic. The hospital's loaded with women like that. Right. Yes, yeah, yeah, sure. Is, as he rolls his eyes. <laughs> it's the worst thing. She's like the, the TV type uh, doctor, the ones that you never see in real life, you know? Yeah. When they got to take your temperature the old-fashioned way, it's usually some heifer. 
<laughs> hey, move Dr. Allison over because she's on like the stinky cam and everyone's enjoying her adjusting her top every oh, two well, minutes. Right here. Oh, okay. Nice. Her leather top. Yeah. Hey, you guys got to talk right into that mic or no one's going to hear you, all right? Uh, now, uh, Dr. Allison, the hot one, she's a family doctor. Uh, what are you guys? Internal medicine. Internal medicine. Oh, okay. Um, physical medicine and rehab. We do neuromuscular, musculoskeletal. All right. Emergency medicine? Emergency, emergency medicine. medicine. There you go. We got some emergency cases right here. <laughs> anyone else? Did we miss anyone? Ah, yeah, yeah that's it. Okay. Doc doesn't <laughs> want to be on the mic. I hear you. All right. Should we start the festivities? Sure. Yeah. yeah, let's bring in our first case. It's Danielle Clark. Rick's the, the bitch that's usually at reception. Danielle has <laughs> huge, wait so long. huge breasts. Wow. They never huge. call your name. Hi. Hi, Danielle. Hey, how you doing? I'm all right. How are you? Good. Now, where are you from? Ariel. Ariel, Sicklerville, uh -huh. New Jersey. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> I was there uh, last week, I think. <laughs> yes. It's over by Philly. Uh, it, we have to mention the obvious. you got huge, huge breasts. Yes, Huge. Uh, how big are they? Well, last time they were checked, there were double G's. Double G's. Double G's. Yeah. Like, good God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. And uh, you call us to tell us that uh, you might have an extra... Uh, nip. Nip. Yeah. nip. Yes. Well, there you go. Uh, this is... Uh, uh, doctors, uh, do you see a lot of this? Is this a common thing? It's Very common. common actually. Common. Very common. People think it's a mole. Feel Why a lot they... of people think it's a mole, and it turns out to be a second uh, or third nip. <laughs> Why are the doctors smiling... You guys are loving this, aren't you? We need to touch it, you know. Now, now, doctors, is uh, I, I've heard about this before, um, and usually, don't they follow a line yeah. up and down? Exactly. Actually, down from. Oh, really? What is that called, doctor? Oh, the milk line. The milk line. Yes. Down the groin. Right. But it's it's never like you wouldn't see one in the middle of a chest. No, never. No cyclops nip That's or nothing. That's uh, only in in like the globe or the star. I don't know. Or a total recall again, if I may bring up that <laughs> fine movie no, again. No. Okay, so where is uh, where is yours? Uh, right under here. It's right under my the left, left one. Yeah. Oh, that means wow. you have to take off the sweater and the shirt. I can just I can just lift right here. With the size of those, that could be anything from a third nipple to a pinto. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. She's uh, taking her shirt off. Very professional yes. here. Let's keep this professional, guys. No ooing and eyeing. Of course. When not. she uh, lifts her no, top off. All right, go ahead, Dan. Because this is, uh, of course, we're just Are we trying doing to. This now? Yeah, don't yeah. be shy. We're, we're trying to. Uh, this is all perfect. Oh my God. <laughs> I think we need the light. Yeah, get the light on there. That? Doctors, all take a look. They're all uh, looking at. How long have you had this? Pretty much got my And this is an areoli uh, here. Also, I see around there. Can you actually bring out the other, the real one, the one that's above that, so we can uh, compare the no, two? I'm not taking out my whole boob. Oh jeez, I tried, Opie. <laughs> Prove. What, what do you think that is? Well, see, we don't oh, want to give any say we're diagnosing. No, no, it's. You know, it looks like, like that's yeah. what it is. Yeah, You're going to give an opinion. Uh, <laughs> hot, Dr. Allison, what do you think? I, I think that is a supernumerary nipple. Supernumerary. Super <laughs> yeah. That's what it's called. Is that what it looks like? Well, we know yeah, her boobs are like super. Yeah. <laughs> now, are these functional, Doctor? Sometimes people have a lot of tissue and they can get. Um, they can lactate? They can, yes. How about that? How about that? And what do the other doctors say? Doctors, do you uh, concur? Right on 100 percent correct. Yeah. Concur. Concur. Absolutely. I like. Look how professional this is. It's Very moving good. along. I love this. Wipe the smiles off your faces. <laughs> I My too. God. I too uh, concur. I don't. Norton, what do you think? What do I know? Um, I think that the doctors are correct. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of her uh, her her boobies there? We didn't get to see much. We couldn't see them. Yeah. We saw the one little I would, I would have liked to have uh, compared the uh, uh, the one. Yeah, Docs, what are you doing to us here? Uh, don't you need to compare or something? You may have to do the full breast well, exam to really yeah. see There's no extra really yeah. tissue. Is there any future problems that can develop from something like this, Doctor? That maybe she should be aware of? You just want to get it checked like any breast tissue. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's hot when you say it. I'd yeah. like to see Dr. Allison check the breast tissue. Please. Uh. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And is there anything she could do for that? No. Nothing? You can get it removed. You, you get can? It removed. Would you, would you like to actually? The scar ends up being bigger than the nipple. Really? Yeah. It looks like a mole to anybody that can right. see it. So you don't, you don't uh, have a problem with it? You won't, wouldn't want to get it? She's had it. Uh, she can't. She's had it forever. She uh, says. Stink, you got to get headphones on. Like walking around lifting them up, you know. Right. So. And, and yeah. it's underneath, so uh, it's not very obvious. Not many people get to see uh -huh. it. Right. All right. Well, our first case. And is this a common thing, Doc? 
common. Very common. Everyone yeah. actually is born with them, but they involute before you're born out of the year. Involute. God, I love Did Dr. Cobb. Did we just have the word involute on our I radio love show? I Dr. Cobb. Nice. <laughs> Someone's going to use that in, uh, what did we learn today? <laughs> they involute. Look out, upper demos. Yeah, <laughs> here they go. Involute. So we should use like words like they kind of. No, 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 no. Trust yeah, me. No, that's okay. We need to we sound like more intelligent. So you the... use so words like involute. You really, you're kind of born with those, and then they. Uh... Every human being has them all. And, and why do we away. have those when we're born? <laughs> why do men have them for crying out loud? Yeah. No idea. They like feel an lovely when receiving <laughs> treats. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> God's not sure it's going to be a dog yet. We're <laughs> like animals. It's the same exact thing. It's what the dogs have. It's yeah, it's like the dogs have them all running down there. Too, yeah. so, you know. right. Some of us still do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's ask Danielle. Are you happy with the the the, uh, the opinions of the doctors? Oh yeah, I'm, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> at least I know for sure now what it is. All right, yeah. there you go. Our first case. Look at this. We're helping. I love it. Wait, that's nothing. We got some real freak shows. That, we're, just, we're just warming up with that one. Uh, uh, what, Rick? Is it cancerous? Is it cancerous? No, should have been at all. Oh my God, Rick. Sorry. Kind of alarming word you want to throw in. Yeah. Why would you take the it's hotness out I of wondered. this? Can she get AIDS from having that? Is there something? Uh... All right. Should we uh, get the next guy in before we take a break? All right. Let's at least get him in and see. Uh, his, his name's Mike. See Thank you, Danielle. Got. Thank you, Danielle. Our first case and uh, what the hell is that? It's been taken care of. Uh, are we getting pictures? The doctors will see you now. Look how Rick uh, are we getting the reception. We're getting pictures of all these uh, guys? Uh, yeah. And gals? Can I take pictures? Huh? Can I take pictures of it? Oh, yeah. you sure can. Yeah, if you see something that you've They'll never seen before, take a picture and. Camera with me. Yeah. And bring oh, it back man. to the, the gang at the hospital, all right? Uh, all right. Mike, where are you from, Mike? Jersey. All right, right on. Another one from Jersey. There yeah, seems I'll to be something uh, happening. In... That just walked out here. Oh, really? Yes. And yes. now you have something? Uh... Yes, I do. Mm, all right, I'm afraid. I, right. Get, I get fearful. Well, I see what he has on, on the chart here, Anthony. Oh, you're looking at his chart? He's got a growth. Uh, let's just say he's got a growth. Is it he pants? has a growth. Is it in the uh, it's lower? Below, it's below the belly button, yes. Oh, my God. And above the, the knees. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, what? Uh, uh, let me read his chart, Opie. Uh, Give me right. his chart. <laughs> Let me look. Hmm. There's yes. Mike and uh, his yep. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. This is not done in medical terminology. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you, you can't write it like that. Well, on his chart. Well, um, why don't you write it down for the doctor so they can maybe uh, clean it up a little bit. What what What's the medical term for Yeah, yeah. See for, if you could uh, uh, that. For what? See if you could uh, word day. that in a way that we can uh, say on the air. On the air. A scrotal, scrotal growth. Appendage. All right, a scrotal growth. A scrotal growth. Okay. All right. Well, um, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, they, uh, they, I see the gloves are out and on. Feel the Look doctors. at Mike. Mike is rubbing his hands together because he sees uh, the hot Dr. Allison putting gloves on. No. Oh, yeah. Sight. Mike, you're sight, right? Dr. Allison, you have to be called away from There's this uh, for a minute. Up. No, okay, um, well, I, I guess... She was on Temptation Island, you know. Oh, I know. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, Mike. Uh, I'll watch some of those episodes. Uh, I, well, I, I guess uh, show the doctors your uh, your problem. <laughs> oh, no, I can't look. <laughs> oh, my God, I can't look. <laughs> He's very excited, though, because... Uh, uh, well, well, don't well, put well, it no, that no, way. No, I didn't mean it like that. All right. Okay. Um, doctor? He's... Uh... Ah! Please. Yeah, it could be a skin pack. Yeah. Hopefully not a wart, you know. All right, wait, 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 wait. All right, all right. He just whipped out his yam bag, if I may use medical terminology. And now we got to kind of describe it so that it gets on the radio. It's uh, and uh, he's got a uh, a growth of skin mm -hmm. that seems to be a dangling from. It, uh, it looks as big as um, like a raisinette, right? Like a, the size of a raisinette, and uh, it did get some. It's not as big. It, no, it, it's pretty. Close. It got some gasps from uh, people. Yeah, from some of the people. I think that was just the fact that he was showing us that area. <laughs> um, and now that you've had a chance to let it sink in, uh, any any opinions uh, of what this could be and what he should Skin do? Tag. Skin tag, like that. Skin yeah. tag, which is just a, a growth neck. type thing that. Skin tag? Up. What the hell is that? Just an extra piece of skin that grows off of somewhere. And can that be removed uh, oh, without yeah, a difficulty? Yeah, yeah. A, 
problem? You just snip them off and... I went to a doctor when I was like six or seven, I remember, and he was going to remove it, and I told him, hell no, was going <laughs> anywhere near there with a knife. Well, well, well you... You'd let uh, Allison go next to that, yes. though, yeah? <laughs> now, now, have you had a little Novocaine, and that comes right A little Novocaine? Would it, would some it, people just, well... Some people just snip it. Just cut them with the scissors. You can just cut it out. No, no kidding. Oh! Some people need to do them at home. We used to All right, hold on. What do we got? From their own what do we got to give Mike, man? We got, we got scissors. One. Oh, my God. We got that. scissors. The talk of it is almost that. dead. So you, you, you should use Patty's up. toenails from <laughs> yesterday to cut it. <laughs> Did you guys bring any tools today? No, they're not going to be performing procedures. <laughs> you can't do anything. But they said they could not. cut it with a scissor. No, he could cut it with a scissor at home. We would recommend it. We would recommend, though, if you do cut it. you see your doctor to have it properly removed. But save it and bring it in for what we are going to have... Uh, let's just uh, tell the people, we are thinking of having something we like to call Cannibal Day Cannibal here Day. on the Opie and Anthony show. Coming to the Opie and Anthony show. Uh, and, and let's just put it this way. Starker Patty's toenails are... Are uh, on the menu, on the menu, on the, on the shelf, just waiting for Cannibal Day. And we would love to have oh. your scrotal skin tag. Oh, uh, bring it in. On there, that's a big prize item, though. If someone yeah. eats that, they better get a trip. You get it removed, you bring it in, you can hang out with us all day. We'll give you a prize and uh, and be part of the fun. That's now, now any any that. any trouble explaining this thing to girls? If girls asked you what this is or anything? It was, oh. Do you have you I been with tell girls? I've them that I've had it my whole life, and they just kind of. They probably worry it's a war. They're about. fine with it. Nah, nobody can't. really was worried. They're, just, they're fine. They, they have no problem with it. Right on by give them the 20 here. bucks and they're off. <laughs> no, I'm teasing, of course. All right, well, that seems uh, good. Uh, you, is it clear your mind a little that uh, it's yeah. nothing to worry about? And <laughs> Now I know exactly what it is. It's some kind All of tag. Right. Well, go to the, <laughs> go to the uh, doctor, uh, have it checked out, and have it removed. All but right. bring it, bring it in in a sealed it, I biohazard bag. And Mike has, Mike has a skin tag, Anthony. There you go. All right, our second diagnosis. And Danielle had an extra nip. Yeah. All right. We're gonna have to take a quick break, Jesus, Anthony. That is disgusting. Waiting to come in is off with a scissor. Oh, is he? <laughs> Keith. He's the guy that has only half of his uh, face that'll swell. Oh, this is interesting. You've heard about this, doctors? Okay, you, so we'll uh, we'll get you guys to have heard. Of, yes. <laughs> They've heard of everything. All right, and uh, John. Mm -hmm. Fake name <laughs> has something that leaks. Let's just put it. Down. Oh God, no! That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, no. So uh, we'll continue. What the hell is that? When is Sandy Kane arriving? That's the grand finale. She should be here very soon. Uh, yes, uh, I I uh, I think with the gloves. Not enough. We have some of those uh, outbreak biohazard suits, hazmat suits that you might want to put on. Oh, God. Are there things that you guys see in the office that we just go, oh, my God, I don't even want to get near this? Uh, every Odors. day. Yeah. <laughs> Odors are worse than they trained inner city. Odors, really? What kind of odors? Okay, odors. Like some people say they have a problem with their foot or their crotch. Like and Rotting things. Rotting things. What, what's rotting? Parts of the body, uh, you know, <laughs> People ulcers, come in and feet, yeah, and ulcers, toes. and the smell is just overwhelming. Madness. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's happening. Yeah, you put a surgical mask on and act like it's normal, but you throw clone on the inside of it. Oh, do you? God damn. Also, yeast infection in 400 pound women in inner city hospitals. No. Stop it. Stop it. You're getting Trace. Norton all hot. BB yeah, yeah, is the worst. VD. BB. Oh, BB. Bacterial vaginosis. Bacterial vaginosis. Fishy odor. Responsible. Oh, my God. Is not normal. Not too fresh. All right. So that's some kind of bacteria that's yeah. just yeah. dying and building up a, an odor. Hey, man. Right. No, overgrowth of bacteria. No. Hey, wow. man. My first girlfriend had it. Is it usually on? I, fatter women? Um, mm. Yeah, no. it is, right? Normally? I don't know. You ran a lot of fat women. Yeah, no, it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my my first girlfriend had it. I, we tell the story a lot on the air. Yeah, yeah. Well, Opie she had a little she fun was a with short a girl. little thing, too. Had fun with a girl, you know, was uh, using his hands, let's just say, and he had to drive uh, the whole way back home with his hand out the window. <laughs> From Genesee. <laughs> it True story. It's not called a Geneseo. It's a similar <laughs> word. Oh, oh, the place. Yeah. Sorry. You were talking about the region. Yeah. I, 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 nothing I, I did could get rid of... Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, let's, uh, let's take a break, and then we'll get back uh, to uh, what the hell is this with somebody that has something that leaks. Yeah, that and, uh, and Heath that has half his face that sweats. Right. Okay. Up right. next on the ONA Show. Opie and Their psychosis is all real. This is not an act. Ponderous. Effing Ponderous. <laughs> the Opie and Anthony Show. We'll send that out to Twato. We're back for the Opie and Anthony Show. It's FU Friday. Having a lot of fun with what the hell is that? Yeah. Unbelievable. We've, um... 
We've had a couple of cases so far come in. We've had the uh, the girl with the third nip, and uh, it did indeed turn out to be a third nip. Third nip with uh, surrounding uh, areoli. Everyone's just laughing. These doctors, they're just loads of fun. They're they're passing out their medical books with all all sorts of horrific photos. Yeah, and Norton's uh, looking through one of them, ready to spank. <laughs> you sick bastard. And then uh, we had Mike with the growth. Right, Mike had a uh, growth. It's on called his a yam skin bag. tag, Anthony. A skin tag on his yam bag. Right. And uh, oh, now it's mine. And uh, he was told uh, if he could, it goes to a dermatologist or something, they could take that right off. Well, they they said that uh, this guy could go home with scissors and just cut it off. Well, no, no they didn't. didn't go they didn't the say that. What they said was some people have done that oh, in the past, oh, oh, and it's I'm not sorry. recommended. What oh, he I'm should sorry. do is go to a dermatologist or something, and uh, I, I guess they could take that right off for him. All right, and there's a dermatologist on the line that'll do it for free. And he's advising that the guy does not do it because it'll uh, gush blood. Let's just talk to Vinny real fast. Vinny, what's up? I'm gonna How you doing, guys? Up. What's going on? All right. Hey, listen, skin tags bleed a lot, especially if they're on the scrotum. If this guy takes a scissor to it, he's not going to be able to stop the bleeding for a couple of hours. Uh, so hours. tell him, do not do it at home. If he wants, I can give him my information and come on in. I'll take it off for him. Now, you got to do it and then have sex right away so it just looks like a crime scene. Uh, <laughs> we'll even put it in a bottle. Great. We'll bring it in. You can show it on your next, uh, yeah, you, what the hell is that? Yeah, if you take oh, it off. Oh, what was that? Yeah, if you take it off, you got to bring it back in here so uh, we can do something with it on a future show. Yeah, definitely. I have no problem with that. All right, hold on. Someone will get your info. All right, Vinny? You got it. Thanks. Take right. care. Thank you. Let me just go to Ron. Uh, Ron? Yeah? You're on the Opie and Anthony show. Hey, O and A. Yeah. What's up? You, I'll come in and I'll bite that thing off of me. You don't have to cut it off. Oh, yeah. God, you sick son of a bitch. Yeah, there's a lot of people calling the, and, and they're saying they'll delete the skin tag. Yeah, that is... Yeah. Well, well, that's uh, wow, we day. grossed out the hey. doctor. It's all right. That's cannibal <laughs> day. That's cannibal day. And real fast, before we bring in our next patients, quote patients, we have to talk to Nikki. Nikki, what's up? Hey, how you guys doing today? All right. Good, good. Listen, I had a question before about that uh, bacterial vaginitis. Yeah. Vaginosis. 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 Vaginitis. My fiance's got that, I think. Oh, God. You, you think? know. You would know, man. Oh, I know, but I mean, I, I this is my fiance, the woman I'm gonna marry, but it's it's interrupting during sex. Oh wait, you, so she doesn't know it, or you haven't told her? Hey, there's a problem down there. Well, she knows, but I don't think that she thinks it makes that much of an impact on me. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> because you you know it's like when at first it's fine. But when you, once you start stirring the juices, <laughs> that's when there's a problem. I hear you. At you first, know what I'm saying? At yeah. first it's fine, but then you start stirring no, the no, juices. No, I'm, I'm no, not even going to look. I'm not looking. I'm disgusted. This one isn't gross. It's funny, actually. No. Oh, <laughs> God, you bastard. Let me say, let me say, let me say. Oh, my God. What a son of a bitch. Don't no, tell me. But listen, you guys still there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my, I'm telling you, this girl is beautiful. She is She's absolutely stunning. You know, What's you would up? never think. All right, all right, hold on, doctor. What what should what he do? What do you mean? You think it's, just the ugly girl smell? It, it might not be exactly. You know, you, it you it don't think that. It might be an STD. It's kind of hard to uh, go to your girl and say, "Hey, you know, your, your stench is uh, killing me." You know, what should this guy do? I can't help him with the social implications, right? That, but it's incredibly easy to treat. Yeah, a couple of antibiotics and she's fresh as the breeze. Yeah, but the uh, uh, hot Dr. Allison said something. It could be what? It could be a few things. A couple different things down there. Stink. Yeah. It could be trichomonas, um, trichomonas. Like the bacterial vaginosis, which is a whole bunch of bacteria. Okay, can I can I say something that's a little bit uh a little bit kind of gross? Uh oh. Well, keep it uh, radio friendly. So use Absolutely. only code words. Code words. All right. When, when, wrong. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Don't say it again either. No, don't say it again. Wrong. Not a okay, code okay. word. Wrong. 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 Try wrong. again, wrong. dumbass. Hold Nikki, on. Hold shut, on. shut up. Let me walk you through this. Just say when we're doing the deed. All right. When we're doing the deed. Right. All right. And uh, say... And, and I said, dude, 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 idiot. dude, dude, listen to me. Right, right, hold right. on, hold on, hold on. You hold don't on, have. To, you could just say <laughs> when uh, I'm done. You don't have to say anything else. We know what you're talking about. You're being a little too specific. So okay. let's just say you're doing the deed. Deed done. Now you're done. 
Uh, you're, you're, the, you're, deed is not, the deed is not done yet. It's kind of like I'm going to switch. All right, you're going to switch. So he uh, uh, stops what he's doing. Now they are uh, separate entities for a moment. Perfect. He wants, to, right. go to, a, he wants to go to his uh, backhand. Right, right. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. You could just say now this kind of like uh, white stuff. That's yeah, all. You don't have to describe. Like, don't describe where it is, what it's doing, how it's talking, or anything. Deed done. White. Right. Okay. Not that white though. Okay. He's uh, not actually done. <laughs> right, right, right. Exactly. Very good. Okay. So, um, doctors, is this common to have some kind of a residue like that? I, there, <laughs> I don't know how specific I can get. There is such a thing as a normal vaginal discharge. Yeah. That is, can be white to clear, and uh, if it's not smelly or itchy, it's probably okay. But if it's smelly, that's a problem. All right. Is that good? Is there an, is there an odor to any of this byproduct, uh, Nikki? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Uh, that should be checked out. <laughs> should be checked out, sir. So, so what do I do? What, what do I say? What, what do you say? Wow, that's that is a tough one. Uh, in the yeah, in the words of Jim Norton, foul. you stink. Yeah. <laughs> and just tell her that it smells like the toe wetting of a Haitian marathon runner. <laughs> oh, that's no good. Hey, I, I, I guess I just gotta handle it on my own, huh? Pretty much. Hey, listen, you guys rock. Take care. Hey, I'll, Nikki, I'll tell you. Well, I'll tell you. You give us the phone number. We'll tell her right now on the air. Nah, you're crazy. Oh, how about that? Crazy. No, we'll break it to her. We'll be gentlemen. Nah. We'll break the it. We'll, we'll, you know something? we'll let the doctors do it. Yeah. Nah, because I, I, this, this woman is, is my wife. You know, I can't just say No, she's like your that. fiance, and she's going to be your wife, and you're going to have to live with this for the rest of your goddamn life. You don't uh, fix it now. Jeez, uh, man. No, nah, I got to handle it on my own, though. Why don't you uh, uh, call your wife and, and tell her that Opie and Anthony need to talk to you and see if she goes for it. All right, I'll, I'll try that. All right, cool. All right, do that. All right, thank you. All right, take care. Bye. Bye. All right, Wouldn't uh, it be great to just get on the phone and go, hey, your your aunt stinks? <laughs> <laughs> do you, don't you know it? Do you you're horrifying find the hot dog over know. there. It's the guy's enjoying it. He probably knows it, too, though. Really? Yeah. Ignore it, yeah. Uh, that's something they that a girl just, should not they, ignore. So then they finally come in like, yeah, it sort of stinks. I mean, they know, I think. Oh, boy. I think really? they know. Yeah. They Can we change the subject? Uh, yeah, let's change yeah, the subject. Like Mike, what's up? Anyway. Sounds like that guy's dealing with a real haunted house with hair on it. <laughs> <laughs> hair haunted house. Well, we don't know what that means, so I hope they didn't uh, dump out. Right. Yeah, use your imagination. Of course, we do that I'm on I'm sure show. you guys have a good imagination. All right, Mike. All right, ahead. here's the deal. Since I've been younger, like, uh, I don't know, 9, 10, I have, like, these little warts on my hands. And they're not like them hard warts. They're like little lesions. They're not open or anything, but they've been there for, like, for years I've had them. And they seem to grow slowly. The doctors are rolling their eyes like big effing deal. Something we need to see. No, no, it's disgusting. All right. I'm just afraid to go to, I'm, a, I'm afraid to, go to the doctor. I'm just wa well, why didn't you come get in? a quick you, opinion. Why didn't you come in today? All right, you know what? I, didn't, I haven't listened to you in a few days, and I missed the uh, whole thing with uh, getting sped up, but... I would have came down there. Hey Mike, but... thanks for supporting us. We appreciate <laughs> it. No, I do support you. <laughs> I just was away for a few days. Right, okay. I, I, what, the do, what, the, do. what could the doctor say? About Someone just, would need to see tell it. Tell me, it's... what do I got to do? Someone would need to see it to tell you the truth, but stop touching yourself. <laughs> oh, no, no, I can't oh. stop that. I guess I'm living with the warts. Yeah. All right. I'm never doing it. I guess you guys all have warts too then. We all no, just went and looked I'm at our fine. hands. No, I'm fine. It's all clean here. <laughs> all right, That's Mike. because you use each other's hands on each other. That's why. Hey, hey, Mike. Oh. <laughs> all right, lady. Uh, yeah, thank you. John from uh, Boston has something. I, I, have you ever heard of this? Uh, uh, he has a growth. It's uh, on his um, uh, uh, unit, uh, but he it only comes out when he's uh, 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 urinating. It's like inside, I guess, the urethra. Oh, oh, what the, the hell is that? Prolapse. And and, of and then course. he goes and it flops yeah. out. Thread, probably. And then it comes back yeah. in when he's done. You've yeah, heard of that? Prolapse. Is it a flag that says pow on it? Flag that says pow. Also, it could be a skin tag within the urethra. Oh God! 
Our turn on is a set. It's a flag that goes out. <laughs> any any private area stuff really is disturbing. It really is disturbing. All right, who's our next case? Yeah, okay. we gotta move on. Flag that goes pow though. Oh, they only <laughs> giggle all weekend. Bang. Okay. <laughs> um, does Heath have to eat? Uh, yeah, the wings just got here, so he's got to eat a few. For All right. Why don't we bring him in, and he can eat in the corner, and, and he yeah. can tell us when he's ready. Have him do that. He, he uh, when he eats hot food, uh, he sweats on only half his face. And half then half when he works face. out, he sweats on the other side, and uh, each time the uh, opposing side stays dry. What's up, Heath? There's your wings from Hooters. Oh, I see the doctor's pulling out a flashlight. Are you going to check his pupils? Uh, oh, see? Look at that. Uh, what, what would that mean? If he's sweating on one side of his face... And his pupils uh, don't dilate. How long before you start sweating, Heath? Very shortly. Oh, okay. And then we could go with Heath. All right. Those are some hot wings. Are they hot? Are they hot wings or not? Yeah. Yeah? It might, it might take a minute. That's all right. Heath, where are you from? This is probably just some crafty guy who wanted lunch. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, hey, I need wings. Yeah, that's it. Wings. The right side when I eat, left side if I do something Oh, all right. So the doctors are already uh, asking questions. Good. And you've heard about this, and you've you've diagnosed people that have this problem. There's a syndrome called Horner's syndrome that you sweat only on one half of your Horner's face. Horner's syndrome. And something happens to that, that one eye. It's called meiosis and anhydrosis. So it's a disease oh. of the nervous system, basically, where oh, wow. part of the the nervous system on one side of the face is blocked, oh. and it can cause damage to the nerves. You can actually be born with it, or can it be acquired over time? Yeah. Yes. And is it serious? Sometimes not it's really. a tumor. <laughs> well, it can be due to a tumor, but not always. I mean, you can be born with it or you can acquire it. How long have you had this? Actually, yeah, I got into a motorcycle be. accident when I was younger. Ah. That, that actually explains a lot. After, um, explains a lot of it. Yeah. It just started to happen. After you the motorcycle accident. Did you accident. fracture your spine, your cervical spine at all? No. No. <laughs> no <laughs> damage. <laughs> if, if you damage your spine, a dur you know, if you had, like you said, if you had a whiplash injury, any kind of damage. I broke a lot of bones and had metal plates put in and stuff. But nothing in the neck. Nothing in the neck. Huh. That's where it would be common. Yeah, you know, he might have had a little, little whiplash. But, but there's also a lot of people that have this. It's actually called hyperhidrosis. That's excess sweating. Yeah. And um, it can be, there's a surgical procedure that can be done on it, but uh, most people, it would be better to live with it. Rather damn than you, goddamn Norton. He just spins the book around, and I looked at it. Oh my God. Another cute picture. You son of a bitch. I don't want to see these open wounds on man junk. This, uh, this book is like uh, Playboy to these oh, days. Oh, no, it's like Playboy to Norton. It doesn't turn us on. He's looking through it like, oh, yeah. All right, Look Heath. at that open sore on that mule. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Heath is sweating, I think. Heath, oh, is it, you feel like you're sweating? Oh, yeah. Wait, oh, get, look. Wait, it's get glazed on. on one Wait, side. Wait, get under a light. Yeah, get the light on. Dude, that is amazing. Look. That is effed up. He's glazed He's on one side and on the other side. That is effed up. <laughs> Cyborg. <laughs> Cyborg. Dr. Allison's getting a good look. What's going on with the pupils, doctor? They're checking his eyes. Well, a lot of times when the nerves are damaged, it would also affect the pupils. Right. You can actually see the pupils. One might dilate, the other one might constrict, and that would also confirm this type of syndrome. Something tells me that would be a little more serious than just the sweating. Am I right, Doctor? Absolutely. <laughs> yes, of course. Whoa. I shut my eyes, Norton. I'm not looking. I'm not <laughs> looking. Have you guys seen this before, Doc? Yes. Yeah. I'm yeah. Doc. Is, is there anything he could or should do for this? or? It depends on what it's from. Like, uh, you Dude, know, the, uh, I don't mean to interrupt sweating. you, but the sweat is just dripping <laughs> down the whole right of his face, and the left side is completely dry. Oh, my God. like Whitney Houston on that side. <laughs> <laughs> just sweat yeah, like a pig. Yeah. Beads of sweat just uh, pouring down yeah. the side you, of his face. You should legitimately go see a doctor because there is a tumor in the neck that can cause this, uh. and you want to make sure that that's yeah. not what it is. Uh, exactly. Yeah. A lot of times, uh, something can compress these nerves, causing this yeah. type of irritation on the nerves, so we really should go to a doctor just to get it checked out. Just when was the last time you saw a doctor about uh, anything about this or any other re reaction to the motorcycle? Accident? It's been a while. It's been a while? Uh, yeah. Definitely. In general, you never want to have anything that a doctor goes, oh, cool about. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool, though. <laughs> yeah, that's something. He's just uh, having an explanation for when the, uh, you know, if I do something physical, the other side sweats. 
I, that's, that's odd. No, so, that's this bizarre. Side, this side will be. Oh, you never want to hear a doctor say that's bizarre I mean, either. I mean, this side will sweat just the same way. No but it's, it's basically it's um, uh, like a misfiring in the nervous system. Right. And if there's like a tumor has been ruled out or any kind of uh, real irritation, uh, it's usually a benign condition that you know unless it's really bothering him, just deal uh, with he it. can live with it. Because like I said, they do have a surgical procedure, but most people are not doing it. That's called the it. Jim Brewer diagnosis, which is walk it off, dick. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's uh, that's pretty amazing. All right, well, sweating that's what I got. profusely <laughs> on the right side of his face and dry on the left. After well, we've um, I, you ate like two wings. Yeah. Do, do you I sweat? Them and do you sweat them. on your whole body that way, um, or is it just your face? I, you know what? I I don't think so. I think like do you get wet under stupid. both arms. That's or? I'm sweaty, but let me see. Because yeah. wiping my forehead. Oh, it's wiping mostly forehead. the face and the underarms. Right. It usually yeah. just affects the face. It, All right. It usually just affects. It the can also affect like feet. Certain people complain that you know one foot is sweaty. How about that? God, right? Yeah, right guard and left guard. There you go. All right. All right. Well, there you go. I uh, go have it checked out, maybe. But uh, doctor said cool, and that's bizarre, which is <laughs> something you always want to hear from a doctor. Keith, you rock. Yeah, that was something. We might have to invite you to the next road show. Yeah, that. we'll just have you get on stage with some cool lighting on your head, <laughs> and have you eat some wings. That would be cool. All right, Rick. What else do we have? Uh, you got the list in front of you there. Oh. But did you add to it or no? Uh, yeah, we just added one guy, Mel. Uh, Mel. Oh, another guy with a growth. Okay. I think we have to take a break before we get to, uh, John that has something that's leaking. <laughs> oh, God. We have Mel. Wait, is this leaking? Ah. Mel has a golf ball growth. That's all I'll say. Oh, God. And ladies and gentlemen, Sandy Kane has entered the Yes, building. the grand finale. We will finally put an end to the mystery. What is Twato? And we will do that before uh, 6 o'clock, definitely. Yeah. Okay, because the hot Dr. Allison has to get out of here by, I think, 5.30 or so. So we'll Not do it right. before 5.30 even. Yeah, we could go to the FU line, and we'll be back with the Opie and Anthony show. Hey, thanks for calling, and here's the Opie and Anthony FU line. Yeah, I'd like to send a big FU out to all my so-called friends in Cranford, New Jersey. Bunch of gossiping wash women, phony losers. And they boss like seven times a day for eternity there. Jerks. Next message. Yeah, this big FU goes out to my nonlinear video editing program, which f***ing crashed on me after three hours of freaking work. F you. I lost everything. Next message. I want to give a big you to whoever is a stupid ass that took my book that stole my book bag out of my Jeep last night. I now have nothing to study for for my finals next week here at Rutgers. So f you, you ass. End of message. Alien Ant Farm. Movies. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. We're hanging out with a bunch of doctors today, Anthony. Goddamn Norton, man. Dur during breaks, he, j he finds the most disgusting picture in the book, and I'm, like, re reading over copy or instant feedbacks or whatnot, and he goes, hey, Ant. And I'll turn my head, and he's just holding it right up, so I, I got it. Look. Bastard. It's disgusting. The medical book is chock full of... I'm not looking. No. That's the best picture in the book right there. We should uh, take a snapshot of that and put it, on, put it on the website. It's not nasty. It's just weird. It's like, what, no, it's not, it's not no that's nasty and weird, dude. I don't even know what it was supposed to be. It's junk. That used to be junk, Anthony. Tony from Jersey, I'd like to play skin tag with Dr. Allison. <laughs> Very funny. The listeners digging Dr. Allison from Temptation yeah. Island. And you guys are okay, too. <laughs> we had a couple of more people uh, come down. Yeah, yeah I'm waiting for Rick to give me the list. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> I guess we could uh, invite John in, who has something uh, leaking from his body. John. Something leaking? That, I don't like the sound of that. Oh, that's awful. Uh, the gloves are being passed back around. Some more uh, latex gloves being put on by the doctors. These doctors are good because some of the people coming in, Anthony, yeah. they're like, I don't need a glove. I know what it is. But then when you say something like, you know, something leaking, they, they, they run for the gloves. Oh, the gloves just come, uh, come out. Hey, John, what's up? Not looking Hi, how you doing? Where are you from, man? Uh, Queens. Cool. Um, just to clarify, it doesn't leak on its own. Like, I have to squeeze it. Like, I thought it was a pimple. But then it turned Jesus. out Holy Jesus. All right. And I have this other thing on my arm. Like, I call it the drug oh, bomb. Only one thing at each only visit. Thing at yeah, time. that's how it works. Yes, yes. yes. You got to come back. We bill per visit. Another copay. All right. All right. Copay. Yeah. What's the thing on your arm? 
Oh, it's like a bump. I don't know. Like when I drink a lot, like the next day it puffs out. So I thought it was a tick. Like I had Lyme disease. Yeah. It's like it sucked up blood and got bigger. When you drink. But I don't know. I never got to check that. All right. Maybe Real when smart. you're dehydrated, it shows up more. That could be what the when drinking, you're drinking, drinking out alcohol. Too. Well, yeah. That, yeah. there's nothing That's on your arm right now, though. Only no, it's to, like oh, there it is. right below the surface. You could feel it. All right, they're feeling his arm, Anthony. The inside of like the elbow, a little red bump. Ah, oh, they're already waving it off like it's nothing. It's not well circumscribed. <laughs> it's not what? It's well not well circumscribed. circumscribed. Oh, scribed. Yeah. Like you can't feel the edges of it distinctly. Right. I don't think. Is that it's good or not bad? Well demarcated. Is that good or bad? It's not demarcated. I didn't. But how so. big does it get? It pops <laughs> up a little bit like a mosquito bite. Oh really? Maybe it just sticks out. It's like to be you. <laughs> I think it might. Yeah, well, be oh, we're talking about the thing in his eye. Where's the Where's the leaky thing? <laughs> yeah, get get the to the leaky, leaky thing. thing. Yeah. Well, the leaky thing is uh, the chest, Anthony. Yeah, it's only on one side. I don't know, to make you funny, like, you can draw a bullseye on a piece of paper. I don't know, like, the last time I touched it and drained it in the shower, but I probably could... Drain. No, 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 please, let's not shoot anything. No, he's got to shoot. No, no, not not in this close proximity well, to people. Hit, hit, the, uh, hit the board over there. No, people who oh. work in here. Anthony, it's for the show. Look, if he's going to do something, I want plastic, I want... How, how about you... How, Rick, hold, hold up newspapers or something. I can hold up a paper. Put yeah. him over there in the corner, though, to do exactly. it. All right, so John. We'll see. Well, no, we can care. see. Look at all the lights. All right. Maybe you can cover us in plastic, and Gallagher can hit it with a mallet. <laughs> <laughs> Before you squeeze it. Yeah. 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 No right, squeezing so, yet. So don't, squeeze, don't squeeze anything yet. All right, he's showing um, the area. Is that there, or yeah. does it come out of no, This is the worst show. Right oh, those are, those uh, are uh, sweat, yeah. sweat glands there, too. And Go let's get see. Filled all right, all right, all right. They get filled some. Oh my God! He's gonna squirt something in a cup. Hold on, I'm not looking. Wait, move out of the way, Doc. All right, he's he's uh. Oh, 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 that was impressive. Yeah. That was impressive. Oh, my was God. Impressive. Anthony, describe it's that. It's always the same yeah. one? Yeah. It's always the same one? Yeah. Do that. Do it again. Do it again. No, no, no. Do it again. No, no, no. Oh, that's all you have in there? No, this is, this is <laughs> just <laughs> disgusting. He's got to reload. He's reloading. Oh, no. oh now it just kind of wah, 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 wah. It's a money shot out of his uh, nip. But, yeah. Is what I'm saying. Like, but milk says, yeah, but the milk comes yeah. from all over, not just in the mail. Why are they saying milk? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God, I am so freaking disgusted. Well, okay. yeah. That's exactly yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're, uh, well, uh, doctors, it's a milk duck. It's, yeah, it shouldn't. Do, do you take any medicines? Are you crazy? Do you take psych meds? <laughs> Sometimes people on psych meds yeah. can get it and stuff. It's you, called galacteria. But it's uh, galacteria. Yeah. I love that it movie. Was, it was clear. It wasn't. Didn't look milk colored. It's gross, but I have tasted it. It's salty. Oh my oh, God! What are you crazy? Um, what are you insane? Black. And it tastes salty. Yeah. <laughs> why would Why would you um, taste that? Yeah, I'm just curious. I don't know. The first time Does I noticed it, it I was like 14. Refill? Does it have to refill? And then, like, you can't just yeah, do it again? Yeah, well, it has to That's drain. That's probably sweat, but you yeah. need to get it. It takes a while to connect. It reloads, yeah. yeah. Salty. So, so you need to sweat glands. So you think it is? You know, my own sometimes. I'm just kidding. Well, tell us more. Yeah. Yeah, but that's a sweat. I think that's You think it's a sweat gland? Yeah. As opposed to milk exp coming yeah, out of it. Hold on, can I? My observation, though, they're saying it was clear. I didn't see clear. I saw it's, it's it was milky. Oh, yeah. God. Oh, I want that cleaned up it's with like, Lysol. It's got like a yellowish tint to it. It's not white. <laughs> it's not bloody. It's no, not it's bloody. not bloody either. Stinky, how impressive was that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, where, where did Ben go? <laughs> ben left. Oh, my God. Ben is probably vomiting. Did we he make a bet that, that Ben would uh, leave the show by five? Yes. Well, all right. I, I have had it checked out once before, uh -huh. and they told me it's from smoking pot. No. Oh, no. no. That was the anti-pot people saying that. <laughs> Smoke all the pot you want. Stinky will smoke some of it. One more time. <laughs> no, sure no, 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 no. Did you guys get that on video, Steve? Yes. Steve yeah. got it on video. It will be up on foundrymusic.com. That was cool. Um, the underground website you could get to through opianthony.com. You know, people yes? are enjoying the hell out of Stinky Cam, and Brandon from New Hampshire is checking in. He said uh, he just saw Dr. Allison on the Stinky Cam, and now he has a growth he wants her to check out. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> uh, 
I, you know, she's a trooper though. She comes in with the hot leather top. But she's very professional too. She's looking at the the, the problems these people have, and she's giving uh, her opinion on what it could be, and that's pretty cool. And I, there's a little inside joke in the studio about the couch. I had thought about it real quick before I sat down, and then the guy from the Navy came in. And was like, I wouldn't be sitting there. No, no, no. That's it's the like couch. couch. Yeah. There's more diseases on that couch than on Sandy Cane. Yeah, Trust me, I'm not, me, I'm not too worried about getting any diseases from it. You, you should yeah. see what has I gone mean, on on that couch. Not when you go around in public, though. I mean, you know. <sighs> yeah. God you know what? Damn, We've seen some so crazy sick. sights so far today, Anthony. That yeah. John is the best so far. <laughs> yeah, that's that uh, just went I my flying out. Band plug? Uh, of course. All right, downpour.com. Everybody check it out. It's a good band. Nice. Local band from Queens. They should rename the band Leaky You Know What. <laughs> Downpour. They named it after him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, that is something. All right. So what? What is the? What are the doctors? Do saying? you think you should have that checked out? I, I would still get it checked out. It's likely nothing, but there is a serious condition that can roll. I want to be playing around with something along those lines. Right. Right. The old tumor in the head. It's always best to be safe than sorry. He's had it for a really long time too. Yeah. Since fourteen, right? Yep. Yeah. Right. That's why I thought the first doctor was right, because that's about the same time I started smoking. <laughs> <laughs> and, John, don't drink it anymore. Yeah, yeah, please, no, to keep it out of your mouth. It. Hey, but for that other contest, oh, the cannibal God. contest, somebody wants to drink Oh, it. God, well, yeah. we might have to have you come down to offer the beverage yeah. for the yeah, people. Yeah, we'll put it be fresh. Yeah. We'll put it in, fresh, the, in the cannibal stew that we're yeah. going to make. Oh, God, I am so friggin' disgusted. Let me go to Doug from Springfield. Doug, what's up? Oh, you guys are nasty. This is better than Stacker 2. I lost my appetite. <laughs> <laughs> uh, later, guys. Doug, how did that sound on the radio? It went flying across the studio. Oh, uh, he just squeezed it a little bit and boom! Did it smell like blue cheese dressing? No! Oh, God, You want to play it. now, right? Stop, stop it. it. I don't want to play. Hey, stop guys. it. All right, bye. Uh, and Lisa has a question for the doctors on the line. Lisa, what's up? Uh, yeah. Listen, uh, I got into uh, my regular gynecologist about this. I have I have a white discharge and, and it has a fishy smell. I think it's the vaginosis thing. Uh. Um, my, my doctor keeps telling me it's either a yeast infection or nothing. Yeah. And, uh, like, I, I, I feel bad for my boyfriend, you know? <laughs> I mean, he's too nice to say anything to me. And, you know, I just... Yeah, I know. I we were just know, talking like, to him. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry. Just... Oh, no, and I just want to know, like, what antibiotic I should ask for. Flagyl. And it depends what it is. Right. I mean, if it's, yeah. if it's trichomonas, then you you treat it with flat... Um, with, Yo, well, you can use flagyl, flagyl for BB or... Yeah, but it... You know, it might not, you don't know necessarily what it is. And if it, a lot, we used to have a lot of people come in with a, a white discharge. They thought we're worried about it, and we would test it, pH test it, look at it in a microscope, and it really was nothing. And it's hard to convince people that huh. sometimes it is nothing. Sometimes it's nothing. The sometimes best way. It's, so that, that can be normal? It's yes. not normal. <laughs> White is trying to uh, Yeah, it, it just it doesn't seem normal, you know? Yeah. It's, it's, it's incredibly You're foul a smelling. girl. It's, yeah, foul smelling is not. But White, just having a discharge in and of itself is you not You have to ask abnormal. your doctor to do, and I'm not kidding you, it's called the whiff test. They take the discharge. The whiff test? A, yeah, the whiff smell test. It. Yeah. You put it on a slide and drop potassium mm -hmm. hydroxide on it and smell it. <laughs> You You're a girl. <laughs> uh, uh, Anthony, I just figured something out. Yeah. Allison's actually a doctor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I thought she was faking it, bro. Yeah, right. sure. <laughs> That's great. All right, well, John, you rock. Lisa, thank Thanks. you. Thanks, man. All right. Good luck. Oh, right. man. Well, who's next? All right, who's next on the list? Mel? We going with Melly Mel? Yeah. Mel. Mel has the, I think, the golf ball growth. Oh, 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 but it's not on. Uh, you know what, Anthony? It's it, it right? Melly Mel. Yeah, it's Hello. just below. Where are you from, Melly Mel? Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Oh, Brooklyn. Right. Brooklyn. 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 Brookl
Okay, and you want to describe that? It's like, I'm not looking, Opie. You describe it's, it. It's uh, it's more than a yeah, golf ball size. Yeah. yeah. That's probably, that could be a uh, a vascular um or or a vascular growth. The way it's what made. would that mean? It's not well to be a circumscribed, lipoma. but it, it can be a lipoma. A vascular <laughs> lipoma. Yeah. Circumcised. No, no, like poem is rock. Does it ever get bigger when you're doing anything in particular? Are you talking about uh, the, the growth now or the other thing? Yeah, I'm talking about the growth. Okay. Uh, no, no. Wow. Oh. Okay, it's not very... It's shaped like, uh, again, if I may uh, bring up Rocky Dennis's head. <laughs> it's it's uh, not very... It, it's not like round. It's, it's not smooth. It's got many little bumps on it. It's halfway up his inner thigh, Anthony. It's not like encapsulated or anything like that. Do like, you think it's like blood vessels uh, yeah, in there? Yeah, and, and, and it seems more vascular in nature. Yes, yes. yes. Blood, blood vessels can actually grow awry and, and form kind of what he has in his thigh. Yeah, it's, it's, it's more like that than a lipoma. What's a lipoma? A lipoma is like fat, fatty, fatty tissue, tissue growth. Soft, benign growth. You need to go get an ultrasound done. They'll, they'll take a sound probe against it, and they'll tell you exactly. See if it's a boy or a girl. <laughs> the ultrasound. Yeah, it's that probe. Send me that yeah, exactly. probe, but you'll see if it's hollow. Is it soft, yeah. that thing? Yeah, very soft. <laughs> no, I'm not very soft. <laughs> we never know what we're talking about here, do we? Wow, that's something. And how long have you had that going? About a year. About a year. Yes. Mm. Never at all. It's not painful. Get Does it get in the way or, or something? No, not at all. <laughs> and did it start out small and all of a sudden it just, uh, or one day you woke up and went, whoa! Uh, it, it, it just, uh, it was, uh, geez. Like that uh, Ray Milan, Rosie Greer thing. I just woke up and there it was. <laughs> Ray Milan's head or Rosie Greer's head. Up. Exactly. Yeah, I, I, I hear you. How long have you had it? Uh, about a year. Yeah, he said it in, yeah, a little over a year. Mm. So uh, is it serious, uh, doctors? Get it checked out, especially if it's grown um, that large, that fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the fact that it's no pain does okay. Just to get it checked out. No matter. Unde understood. Get that checked out, my friend, with okay. the ultrasound. Will do. I'd like to re-robe now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, please. Pick up your pants. You're insulting all of us white people, ain't it? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> wow, uh, we actually have what he's going to sound like at the doctor's office. Hold on. <laughs> Help me! Help me! Help me! Somebody help me! Help me! Help me! I love Blazing Saddle. <laughs> All right, Mel, you rock. All right, thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you. Me. Wow. That was uh, pretty impressive. Well, there you go. You had it, and uh, they told him he should was, get it checked out. It was way more than a golf ball. Yeah, that's uh, that looked like a uh, uh, green. The whole golf ball, the green, everything, a little lumpy. Yeah, he's a goner. Oh, God! Look at the doctors now. He's a gunner. That's awful. Can it be serious, though? No, I'm just no, kidding. No, 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 no most likely all. not. Well, I, I think you might have scared him a little bit, so maybe you should tell him that. He needs to get yeah, checked out. Well, of course. Anything like that, you yeah. should get checked out. Anything that grows to that size in one year. I mean, yeah. yeah had a year out. he's had. I, yeah. <laughs> if you had that for 15 years, it's one thing. But, I mean, look at the size of that thing. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Someone wants to know if I could hit that into Central Park, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Give it a whirl. Yeah. All right. All right. Rick, what's All right. next? We got uh, three people left on the list. We've got Anthony, Pete, and Sandy Kane. Uh, oh boy. Can I see the list? Sure. Now um, I'm hoping this one person showed up. Mm. The cauliflower one. Uh, Not yet. Oh wow! Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. Let's uh, bring in Anthony. We can keep going. What does he have? He has rotting corneas, Anthony. <laughs> what? Yes. Yes. What do you have? I have rotting corneas. Where are you rotting from? corneas? How old are you? What is 21. And what is a rotting cornea? Exactly Aside what from it a rotting like. cornea. Some kind of a... Um, They're pulling out their flashlights. <laughs> they got their flashlights <laughs> out. So take a look at your... By the way, we have like four or five doctors in the studio. Yeah. You have scarring on your cornea? Yeah. How did that happen? Is it a herpetic infection? First thing that comes to mind. I hear you. <laughs> scarlet fever. Scarlet fever? What are we in the 1800s? Had scarlet fever. She got the scarlet fever. All right, hold on. They're taking a look. All the doctors are taking a look. Do you wear contacts? No. Not changing? No. How's your eyesight overall? Horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. It's Especially when you shine light. What eyes are that my glasses? <laughs> I can't believe right it. In front of me. Wait, you have bad eyesight, but uh, you can see with uh, glasses fine? Yeah, it's kind of. And yeah. my shoes. Uh, my shoes. <laughs> I'm <smaller than laughs> my shoes down. 
th there's so many things that yeah. can do that. There's yeah. about five different viral infections. There's something called Morn's ulcers that I've eat away that. your eye. I've nice. had this scar on my eye for like years and years and years. I went into the Navy and they, you know, gave me a full exam. And they just like, mm. all right, you have this, this, and this. Sorry, we have to kick you out. Oh, boy. I was in like two weeks of boot camp, got kicked out. I was so pissed off. Ah, oh, and you, you'd you have been perfect for uh, killing some of those uh, Afghanis over there. MFers. Ah, oh, you'd be shooting. You can't see anyone. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> Magoo. Yeah, I'm shooting my own people, Magoo. You've done it again. <laughs> oh, my Georgie Magoo. <laughs> so, Docs, what's going on? Is uh, His corneas are rotting away? This is something I believe you should go to a specialist right, for. Right to an you got to go to an ophthalmologist because some things you can treat with antibiotics, some things need steroids, some things you just kiss that eye goodbye. I was told in the is it one eye or both? It's good, soon to be both. They noticed in my right eye, too. Well, we should bring in Blind Dave so you can, he can give you some pointers. Yes, yes, I saw an ophthalmologist. And what did he tell they, you? Was the she diagnosed me with, uh, I forgot the name of it, Terrian's corneal dystrophy. Terrigium's different. No, yeah. It's not a that's, that's on a sclera. No. Yeah. Ah, yeah. yeah of course it's not. Like, that's what I was thinking, Ed. That's what I was thinking. I know. That was my diagnosis. There, there's a lot of specialized eye hospitals at, you know, Will's Eye in Philly or something. That, yeah. yeah. Manhattan Eye in here. Yeah, you know, it's kind of hard to, to talk with, especially the eye. You know what I mean? It's not like, uh, I think you go to a specialist. Yeah. Maybe you go to a specialist there and have that dealt with immediately. Where do you live? I live in America. I don't have insurance, though. That's the whole thing. Hey, come, get the, where do you live? A communist country there? You, you go in and no, no, take care of it and you don't pay it. I work in a they get paid anyway. Yeah, they get their money from the government somehow. Well, if you go to one of the teaching hospitals in town, I'm sure oh, that they Jesus. can kind of set you up in one of the teaching. clinics. And they would be real interested in, yeah, in seeing your So case. I have like 50 million people looking at my eye, tearing yeah. my eye. And well, if they treat you. Teaching yeah. hospital. Yeah. I went through that once. I mean, I don't need to go through it again. But if they can help you. Yeah, what are you going to do? The, uh, the other uh, alternative. You've got to come up with a pile of cash. Go blind. I mean. Hey, our hot doctor is looking at her watch like she's going to go. Yeah. 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 Uh, we, we, should, we, we should probably... Mm. Well, we got enough doctors that could do the Santa Cana. Yeah, because yeah. we got to get the other uh, Pete on. In. All right. Okay. All right. So, what what's your uh, final thoughts uh, with this guy? Uh, doc? Immediately to an eye doctor. All right. Optimal. Absolutely, ophthalmologist. All right. ASAP. One of the teaching hospitals would probably be able to you know, work on that best. Yeah, so, so, you know, put an address and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want a, a referral? Do you think we're from New York? Or something? Dude, dude. Here's what you do. Here's what you do. You go to an eye doctor, right? You you tell them bill me. And you don't pay. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Been there, done that. Been there, you done got, that. You guys see how that happens, right? All the you got to help. It's part of the. It's one of the parts of being a doctor. Sometimes you're going to get screwed on the bill because uh, people need help. Yeah. Like a restaurant. <laughs> what yeah, like do? yeah, sometimes I can't afford the food. I just, just leave. Just walk up and eat the meal. Then you walk and then up, you leave. And the bathroom, then you leave. Like, oops. Yeah. All right. Should we? Yeah. Let's get Pete in here. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Uh, go go to Thank another you, doctor Anthony. immediately. Immediately. Is that guy after what? He's he's gone now. Is he after? He's gonna be yeah. blind, right? Oh, look at him all nodding. That's great. If that's, if that's HSV or CMV or Morin's ulcer, that's just gonna run away without therapy. Oh my God, he's got to take care of that immediately. Oh yes, David Wells that? just entered the studio. <laughs> oh wow, everybody says that. Yeah, you do look like David Wells. I just wish I had the women yeah, he had. Woman. Yeah. Huh? Oh, by the way, Laurie was on the line. Uh, the black guy Mel that came in from Brooklyn. Yeah. Yeah, it did look like a potato. Yeah, yeah, kind of a potato right under the skin. Uh, right under the skin. Soft potato. Soft potato. potato Mess like blood in the thigh. I it. <laughs> All right, potato. Pete, what's going on? I got this thing on my jaw, like right here on like the... Buccal mucosa? The, the labial wow. side, you know, it's just this lump, you know, it's not on the other side, it's on this side. It's a big round ball. Didn't bother me at all until I was like sitting and be waiting for the train. I looked underneath my lip, I'm like, what the hell is that? Mm -hmm. Now it's been fired. You dip. You chew. Yeah, you chew. You chew too. I smoke. You smoke. Uh oh, oh boy, could this uh, be our first one? How long have you had? Take a look. The big Let's casino, Tony. Yeah. I first noticed it uh, a, a week ago. It's the first time I noticed it. It's the big casino, Tony. <laughs> what? Well, why don't you stop smoking? No, it doesn't hurt. There's no pain. But now I know what's there, so it's bothering me. Right. Uh, you know. White. Yes. Oh Jesus Lord! <laughs> oh my God! Yeah. 
Oh, oh. All right, they're going to take a look. Uh, oh, boy, the tongue depresses and flashlights are coming out. <laughs> Many said, gloved fingers going towards his mouth. He just said, Jesus, Lord. Oh, <laughs> Jesus, Lord. That's never good. Well, Richard Dreyfus <laughs> called us. <laughs> <laughs> all right, he's sitting down. They're making oh, him sit down. Oh, my God, he's sitting. <laughs> oh, my God. They're all around him with flashlights, tongue depressors, and fingers. They're all taking he a look. He looks so scared right now. Take a look. Uh-oh. All right, Where? let's all take they're a deep breath. They're, they're taking a look. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, wow. What is it? Oh, my oh. Oh. I see what it is. What is it? Yes. Lift the tongue up more. It's right there. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there it is. What is it? Shh, shh. you got to touch it. Mm. All right, who's going to touch it? Someone's got to touch that. Someone's got to touch it. Someone's got to get their fingers as hard as a rock. It's hard as a rock. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, you got to get that. All right, hold on, hold on. All right. You know, it's right here. Yeah, you can't painful, see it from where you're at. It's not painful, but He's now that I notice it, it I feel it. It's <laughs> not painful. I know it's there now. That is yeah. like something. Uh, All right. The looks that the doctors are giving are not good. Oh, my God. That isn't good. Oh, they're all in his mouth. It was all, it was all <laughs> fun and games. Are all fun and games until someone has the big casino. Right there, but that's not what that is. That's, uh, what is it? What? Oh my god. <laughs> the doctor's oh, just like shaking his head, kind of like, uh oh, uh oh, 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 don't <laughs> say anything. Don't say anything. How long have you been smoking, sir? Oh. Two, times ten. Twenty years you've been smoking? You want to get your hand in there? Oh my god. Since I'm 18, I'm 34 now. 16 years of smoking. 16 years of smoking. This oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> oh my. God. Let's get let's get some Doctor, down here immediately. Where's Dr. Kennedy? <laughs> he's gonna do it. Yeah, he's gonna They're still like <laughs> <They're still lying. laughs> Oh my See, I can't say. Hell, this seemed like a good idea in the back office. Holy Jesus! The one guy it doesn't even want to be part of it. Oh, the boy. one doctor is giving up. Not on the huh? Not on the side. Oh, boy. Other, other, other side? Other side of the gum, maybe. Grab that mic. What do you think? Oh, oh, when what in doubt, uh, cut it out. The, when uh, in doubt, cut it out. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Cancer? Oh, this yeah. side. Other side, labials. Other side, like in, in have, you, have you quit smoking since you discovered it? It's in his gum, like on the inside of his teeth. Oh, hold on. Uh-uh. Open his mouth. <laughs> they're, they're like really getting in there. Uh-uh. The flashlights. There's... I, the, I could see it in the mirror. Come on, you're supposed to be a doctor. Come on. Man. Oh, now he's arguing. Oh, 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 I see. Oh, oh, oh. Ed, give him that mic. Yeah, him this this, guy, this doc doesn't want in on it. Doctor, get over here. They can't hear us. Talk alone. It's a solid mass inside of his mouth. I mean, and it's growing in a smoker that he, that's got to come out. And number one diagnosis oh, until proven otherwise. Okay. Yeah, it's on the oh inside of it. God. <sighs> All right. Oh. Do you see it? It's right in here. Okay. okay. Yeah. okay. You got he, it. He doesn't want anything. Uh oh. The doctor's feeling it. <laughs> um. You, you need to have that checked. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh my God! If you check it, what do you think? It's why people shouldn't smoke. Right? What, are you, have you stopped smoking? I'm a big no, I'm smoking. Well, why didn't you just throw those goddamn th things away? Because I felt it on the platform of the L A O R yesterday. Well, see, very good now. Very good. So you started smoking heavy to get all your smoking in now. Have that checked out immediately. Well, what is it? We, we can't say exactly what it is, but it definitely needs to be seen by um, an ENT. By someone who? Speci by who? I have ear, nose, and throat specialist. Okay. Someone who can properly diagnose you with exactly I what it is. I have good coverage. I need to know who I need yeah. to see about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do you have a primary care doctor? No, I do not, but I have good coverage with uh, Empire. I have coverage. Oh, I'm covered. Jesus. Okay, because you need to go to your primary care oh, doctor, wherever you're assigned oh, to. Oh, my God. Let him see that, and he'll make the arrangements of what essential. Oh, what the hell oh, the prognosis? Geez. What do you think? It is. There could be a lot of things that could be a lot uh, of things. you know that come to mind, but it's something that needs to be looked at. How about we uh, give the top three? Especially <laughs> being a smoker. <laughs> especially <laughs> being a smoker, my friend. See, you got to throw those away. They're very bad for you. Hey, why are they all giving the C sign? <laughs> what is the C sign? Canker sore. Canker sore. 
I don't have any. Tanker. Yeah, oh, of course. Once you hear not. that somebody's a smoker, or especially if they drink too, you worry that they have a cancer in their <gasps> neck. Because most head neck cancers it. occur in smokers. That's well, that's the first thing that came so to my mind. So that's what you cancer, worry about, and it might not be. I figured they have to take to a hacksaw and cut like half my face. No, no. What you do now well, is you not know, a check down immediately. We don't know what it is. You need yeah. to go get it well, checked. I figure the worst. You know, like well, better to figure the worst, and then you'll you'll be a doctor with like a with like a sawzall just cutting my jaw. No, no. Listen, do there's a lot of new type of treatments oh, where God. they may not even have to do surgery on you, oh, but it's the type of thing that it needs to be evaluated Stereotactic quickly. Stereotactic radio and surgery. <laughs> yeah. there, there's, the, there is absolutely no way we can say what that is, but what needs to be done is called a biopsy. They'll just take a little tiny piece of the tissue. There's no sawzall. You're not going to lose your jaw. And then they send that off to the pathologist that comes back and tells you it's nothing, it's something. And then the what treatment if, from there is a thousand Good. That's well and good. What if it's something? I need to know who, who I go to right now that I got this big lump in my jaw. What type of doctor do I it's go called to? Called ear, nose, and throat. throat. E N T. Ear, nose, and throat. Yeah. Not doctor. I have an ear, nose, and throat guy. That's who you have to go to. Say, I don't know what the hell that no. is. No, no, no. He'll, 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 then he's not a good doctor. You know something? He'll take care of it. He'll, yeah. like you said, do a biopsy. He specializes in this type of thing. Yeah. Hell yeah. We're telling you, ear, nose, and throat. Ear, nose, throat. Pete, you're going to uh, get this looked at I'm immediately, right? I'm diagnosing him as yeah. deaf. Okay. Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> deaf. Well, I've got to work there. tomorrow, so Monday. Ear, nose, throat. All right. That's who you need to go to. We All right. We're not going to properly, you know, we're not going to give you a specific diagnosis. Right, right. You need to go to a specialist, someone who will be able to, I, like the other and physician said, pro- take a biopsy. In professional opinion, if you had to be, like, if you had to be quizzed on it, what would you say that would be? He can't. All I can say is I'm glad I'm not you. to mind with that, and like I said, one of the things could be a malignancy. One thing. What, what would we write on the, as a diagnostic code would be a mass in the mouth. We wouldn't write exactly what it was mass. today. If it were an office, because well, we don't know. What would you write on my death certificate? How you well, we would have mass. a biopsy would by then. That, we would have a biopsy. On Black Girls Chart, they wrote ass. <laughs> so that's kind of close to mass, but... Uh, uh, we, dude, can't, we can't know. You can't know without doing a biopsy. Okay. Dude, uh, yeah, like they said, go to a, a, a specialist and you know something? This could be very good. You came down here on a whim. You right check away. it out. Now people are telling you to check it out before you know it. Turn the lights off on an electrician. Before you know it, you get out of it taken care of, and all of a sudden it's like, wow, geez, a good thing you caught that in time. There so you I go. I was sitting there. I was bored. I called up. I was listening. All right. Well, well good thing right. you did, my friend. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for having this. All right. Thanks, uh, little, thank you, uh, thank you, Pete. No Swallow. problem. <laughs> I think we have to say goodbye to Thanks the hot doctor, Allison. Yes, Allison. Oh, thank you so Sandy much for coming to down. Huh? Sandy Kane's about oh, to come. <laughs> hey, Rick, are you insane? After what we just went through, uh, we need to take a break and regroup. It's called. <laughs> Even we're smart enough to realize that. West Coast Dave said you just made 12 million people stop smoking. Well, you want to know the truth? Look at this one. Chris, what's going on? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Let me tell you guys, I am so glad that you did this bit today. Why? I am going to stop smoking, stop drinking, get on the right diet, and God forbid, no offense, I never have to be on this cringe radio that you are doing today. All right. Thank you, Chris. Sure. All right. Oh, okay. Bye. Bye. All right. The, the, the hot doctor, Allison, has to get out of here. We're going to regroup, Anthony. Good one. Yeah. And uh, we're going to wrap up this ridiculous bit with Sandy Kane, and we're going to finally find out what Twato is. And we will do that <laughs> next. All right. It's very uncomfortable in here right now. Now let's turn on the PA system and start the fun. The Opie and Anthony Show. Afternoon radio. This is it. You can't go anywhere else. Nowhere to go. That's like saying you don't like Earth. You're leaving. Where, Where are you, you going? going? Opie and Anthony. And we finally have control. Yes. Gets better every day, don't it? I feel like there's many things wrong with my body now. I got the People are genies. quitting smoking all over the country well, now that we're syndicated. Good thing. And well, they should. No joke, man. That last guy was the real deal. Oh. Something is going on with him, and he well, needs to be checked out immediately. Hopefully, he will get uh, checked out. We had the... no official diagnosis, but uh, the doctors were all pretty much shaking their heads. The hot doctor said, I'm not touching it. Wow. All right. Uh, Glenn, what's going on? Yeah, that was the freakiest radio I've heard in my entire life. Oh. My heart. Still going a mile a minute. Yeah, it was very, uh... I've never been more uncomfortable in my life. 
I'm, 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 Seriously, oh I, I, to, to see the doctor's faces turn from, uh, hey, we're all having fun and making cute little doctor yeah. jokes. Uh, 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 oh, my God, we were hoping we wouldn't see one of these today. That, oh. that, was, that was great. And I quit smoking a year ago today. Or tomorrow, actually. I realized that after that happened, and I'm just like, then I was, I'll never go back. Yeah. No, you're going to smoke or what? Nah, man, this is it. No, no, you're done. <laughs> I'm telling you. He, no. he pulled one cigarette out of his pack of cigarettes, threw the, other, the rest of the pack away, and he goes, that's it. I'm just having this one. I'm done. But it's like when you quit, you got to just throw them the hell away. How long have people you quit on New Year's Day? They make a goal for themselves, and yeah. I know guys that have done it. That's, no, no, Billy, I'm, yeah. I'm done. How long have you been smoking? About 15 years. Oh, and, okay. and, and that's what... And you saw... What, I've been wanting to quit for a long time. But you just time. saw what was going on in the studio, and that was it. I don't know it. what's wrong with that guy, but it's just like, their faces, and I'm like, you know what, man? Enough. 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 I quit drinking. I quit getting high. Enough. Done. Man walking. That's <sighs> it. No more. What about Stinky? What? Young, He's young. Young smoker. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there he goes. I'm young. No, I'm young. No, don't even look at. I don't even. No, don't look at. I think you don't look. No, don't even look. You might see traces of mule juice, but nothing else. <laughs> and what about you? You you do the smoking every once in a while. You go no, I'm done. What are you done. kidding? No, you haven't in a I'm long, long in a time. while. I'm I throw them away and that's it. Done. That's it. Oof. Did you take anything or you just stopped? Just stop. Throw the goddamn pack away. And then when you go to light up and you have the cigarette in your hand and you go to put it in your mouth, you don't wake up out of a haze and go, oh, my God, there's a cigarette burning in my mouth. It's a conscious decision that you make. Yeah. So, guys, what do you think now that the guy's out of the studio? Seriously. <laughs> Dude. This is just, you know, uh, your opinions. I mean... You got to be concerned that the number one diagnosis is cancer. Cancer oh. is the answer. Tumor is the rumor. So, <laughs> oh my like God, I don't like that rhyme, <laughs> and it's in a bad place too, right? Yeah, the head and neck cancer is not a good one at all. It just uh, it spreads very quickly. Ah! <laughs> 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 Some of the surgeries involved in having to remove those sorts of things are not pretty. I'm going to go see my mommy tonight. <laughs> I, need, I need to suckle. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I can't take this. You can just this. get that guy back in. Oh, I can't my God. God. Um, but him right. coming in might have been the best thing because he might not have got that check for another year instead of yeah. coming in today and seeing your horrified faces. <laughs> this, will be, uh, this will be the last time we do this, Mike, because that's all. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> if we can handle this one. Yeah, right. This might be the only time we do this. Why don't we get back to some fun uh, anomalies on some of these I'm more uh, hearing people. rumors about, about Twaddle, though, and that's not going to be fun either. Oh, man. boy. Just wow. hearing rumors, Anthony. Mm, mm. They were showing me pictures. Let's just put it that way. Great, great. You want to bring in Sandy K? Why don't we? Why don't we do that? Why don't we get... Is there we told any, people we were going to do it before, before six. Uh, six. Yeah, we got, we got to keep our promise yeah. for once. Okay. And anything else would be anticlimactic no, at this point. Like, like, hey, no, I don't want to... <laughs> 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 and, and stupid us. I'm glad... I hold, hold on, hold on, Sandy. I'm stupid... Gonna I'm going to turn her mic yeah, off because that that's the easiest way. Yeah. Stupid us, I, I just, uh, just quickly want to bring that guy in. As just no. the, as fillers, they call in the radio biz. That could have been a lifesaver right there. But no. instead, he was the showstopper. So we could do what we want. Will you stop talking, talking to, to her your... dildo? I'm sorry, but he very, gets very offended. All right. Because he loves you. He loves you. He loves right. Opie and right. Anthony. And, and you know, yeah, he's so right. nervous right. to come on. And, and then you said, turn him off. Sandy. <laughs> sorry, Anthony. Do you, do you know who these are? Uh... <laughs> I've been waiting for this all my life. They're here. throwing tongue depressors at her. The doctors. <laughs> <laughs> man, you guys, they do listen to our show. They've they got great bedside manner. <laughs> They're just throwing stuff at Sandy King. They should have brought some needles out of that little metal box. <laughs> 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 the biohazard <laughs> box. We have what you told. Sandy. It's my protection. Do you know who these gentlemen are? Are some of these people in, in this well, studio? Well, once we're in a coat, like that looks like a guy from Russo Hospital yeah, that I yeah. once got in a oh, bathroom. Yeah. I remember he was so cute. <laughs> Couldn't help it. He was so Jesus. cute. So there wasn't a patient in a coma. <laughs> Anthony, well, Sandy, you know, yeah, <laughs> we have to explain Sandy in like 20 seconds to the new cities. I mean, Sandy has a public access cable show. Thank you. And she uh, was a, a dancer, a stripper. Uh, back in the olden days I was, of Times I just Square. Did spa, I did spa nightclub the other well, night. I stripped. and I, li I lit my the place? I, I, lit, I, lit, lit, I lit up the, my breasts uh, for, for Amanda Lepore's Look, party. I think I could do this a little quicker than Sandy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in the day, the old 42nd Street... Um, Which was yeah. like a year ago. Very, no, no. It was back in the days before Giuliani. 
When you used to be able to... Years ago, I worked at Show World. Before Giuliani. At the Triple Tree Theater. The last time she stripped for, for money, Boy Campanella had legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are awful, man. God damn, is that great. Bravo. Uh, Roy Campanella leg reference. Bravo. All right, so uh, Sandy uh, was a, a stripper. Uh, she got her own she cable show. She does her own show. Yeah, she does her own show. I did spot nightclub the other night for 2,000 people. She's a little... Um, I'll just... I'll be nice, but I'm going to be honest. She's a little older than we like our strippers. <laughs> right? And, um, Depends. She's if you're had blind, a, I look great. She's had a tough life in some aspects. Yeah, bring in the guy with the rotten corneas. I don't think you're a supermodel. She was gang raped by a bunch of Jewish gentlemen many <laughs> years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the doctors look like they're like the guys that raped me. Oh, there you go. Uh -huh. Look at her. And and we brought her here today because she has something growing. Um, and it is, uh, let's just say it's on her very lower abdomen. Yeah. Let's just put it that way. Um, we believe it's some type of a wart. Can we say it's on the grass? Yeah, we could it's say on the grass. We, we believe it's some kind of a wart. Uh, uh, we, 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 there's been speculation. We put the picture on the web, but we figure uh, Sandy's getting upset now because we, uh, since we've said this, people don't want to talk to her, touch her. Uh, hold on, hold on, Sandy. I turned on so, you. So, so now we're finally going to get this taken care of and have these doctors. It looks give like their an opinion. ear. It looks like the ear that was grown on the back of that mouse genetically. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, so. Why don't we just get this over with, I hope Sandy? It's not very bad, you know. Sandy, I get scared. Pull your. Uh, what if I need an operation? I hate that I have to uh, say this. Pull that down. Can we check out the other side too, doctors? You've seen it all. She's right? got a roid. Uh, that's really bad. Yeah, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think that's a roid. Though. I just ate Mexican food for you guys. All right, why don't you show them the roid first, then? Because that's the. It really is a beautiful roid. Yeah, show them the roid first, because that's. Oh, I, I always see it on so my own show. Right? I know. Beautiful ass. Is, uh, can I say that? Uh, yeah, 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 you can say. Yeah. That. All right, show the doctors the roid first. Take my undies off here. Uh, no, 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 no. no. Oh. <laughs> Did you guys just ask if that tumor was in a bad place? Like there's a good place for an effing tumor. That's Joe from the east side. Um, here goes Sandy. Wait, you're going to show... Wait, wait, who's this? Who is this? Stinky. Oh, Don't touch Stinky. Stinky. Uh, Sandy, no, show, wait, the, show the no, roid first. Have to, have to, have to. Show the roid first. Show them the roid. The roid. These doctors are worse than Opie and Anthony. <laughs> there you go. Right. Uh, 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 oh. Save Twato for the end. I, I want you to do the, the roid first. Oh, yeah, wow. You the like that? One. You like, like the rear end? You need an opening act no, before the headliner comes out. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, show the wrist. <laughs> Look at her. Yeah. Which doctor? All right, show the, the doctor with the flashlight and the gloves boss. and the hazmat suit. Show the wrist <laughs> <boss. laughs> That's awful. I love Sandy. Sandy. God, she's so annoying. She's Face so your annoying. back. The doctor's mad. Turn Face your the doctor. back to the doctor. There you go. Doctor. Now, now, pull that aside. Ooh. Pull it aside. You're not doing an act for Mike, him. You're in such a ham. Thanks, guys. I'm a stripper. I Sandy, pull it. the thong aside. There you go. Now look, Doc. What do you see? Oh my God! Oh my God! That's where Osama bin Laden's hiding in that cave. Oh, that may not be. No, that may not be. That may be Twato's cousin. What is that? That's what I thought. What does that look like, Doc? Might be Twato's cousin. That's Twato's cousin. All right, and what do you think that might be? Ooh, I hope I won. A wart? You think it's a wart? Wait, that's not a roid? All right. No, that's not a roid. <laughs> there is a roid in there. Yeah. Well, yeah, sure. no, there that's is. not a roid. They're saying it's not a roid. There's a roid, honey. It's inside. Um, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Sandy knows. That could be the next Three person. doctors uh, are standing around with flashlights looking, but they know. They don't know. You know. No, it definitely there is a, a definite hemorrhoid in there. Well, because I, I was almost, almost once operated on. So, <laughs> but Sandy, there's something else that they're there's saying. Else. There's more than one Can I wipe? thing. Did I wipe? No, it has nothing to do with that. Stop! stop. They're gonna dump out. Stop! Stop! Sandy. Stop! 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 Show stop. the front. All right, Sandy, show them. All right, so they're saying, Anthony, that yeah. the, they might be a cousin of Twata. Right. Okay, here we go, be Some type of war thing. Now, guys, get a load of this. <laughs> okay, all right. Pull it, pull it out. Let's see it. Look at that, guys. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's the doctor saying that. Nice. Cousin of the other guy's skin. What bag. the hell is that? Oh, we know. You yeah, know? They, they know, know, Anthony. Mike, Mike. They know. Guys, what yeah. do you we think? know. It's with summering. diagnostic certainty what that is. What is it, guys? Condyloma acuminata. Oh! Otherwise known as cauliflower. Yeah, that is... That is a large... Oh, the, my God! Yeah. Get and the closet. thing on the back is another one that is grown perirectally. 
Harry <laughs> oh, anal yeah. genital warts. Oh my God! Look, I need a shower <laughs> and, uh, right to now. To prove this, I have brought photographic evidence no. that we're oh. not Sandy, look at the picture. Evidence. That's what you have. Sandy, look yeah, at the picture. That is what you have. That's look familiar? Yes, it looks like wow. it looks like Holy. Sandy Kane. <laughs> Sandy, see, we told you. Oh. Now you gotta go. Actually, you want to get the the way you can find out for sure a hundred percent. And I know it sounds silly, is put a little bit of vinegar on it, and it's gonna blanch white because the acetic acid re reacts with Just. the warty <laughs> tissue. <laughs> can she use, can she use balsamic and maybe, uh, not these guys, maybe a little tasty? These guys have no doubt, Anthony. Is that no contagious? I think that is it contagious. Is it contagious? You think you were born with that? No, in the because play, is show event. Uh, yeah. You got it many years ago. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, Sandy. I mean, isn't it's there one? Isn't there one? I, how do you say this? Um, oh, oh, closer to another area. That, yeah, even so, closer. Yeah, like there's something going on. Oh, I don't even know how to say this. If you Norton. open a door, yeah, right, yeah, right, right. Yeah. Okay, let's say, let's say, let's say you have uh, something on the outside of the door in your house, right? right? You go to your house. There's something there that maybe you need a carpenter to come and remove. It's a, a growth on the wood right, outside, outside the, the house. Uh, is it true, Sandy, that if this was your house, that if you opened the door and walked in, the, uh, there'd be something in the hallway also growing on the wall? She's Did looking at me like that? a fish out of oh, goddamn yeah. water. You're the only know. one that didn't get. I'm just saying, so what do you do a about it, doctor? Shotgun with a toe attachment. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what do you do? No. Can we remove? Uh, can we remove her tongue to to cure it? <laughs> How do you get rid of something I, like that? I give that, that recommendation. Uh, when when it you when it gets tissue? that big, it's got to come off surgically. When they're smaller, you can treat them. There's a drug called Condylox that you can treat it with. That size has got to be surgically removed. Oh, and so, then you may even need the medicine, and it may recur. But uh, holy that, Jesus. that definitely has to be treated surgically. The bigger problem with it is that you're saying you had it for so long yeah. is that there's certain serotypes of that. It's the number one cause of cervical cancer. So you got to go. Uh, no kidding around. Do you have you to cervix? go get that checked out. When, when was your last patch you? me? Um, about um, before I was born. I don't think I ever had yeah, one. Let me tell you, it, it was so long ago. The guy's name was Pap. Yeah. <laughs> that did it. It was actually Pap that did it. Pap himself. There's no Pap. No kidding around. You got to go get a Pap smear. Can I, can I tell a story? Sorry. Years ago, oh, I, went, we go. I went to Bellevue Hospital. This female doctor. Uh, this was like 15 years ago, and she said this, something about that. And that, oh, this is terrible, and blah, 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 about cancer. And then it was 15 years ago, and then they killed this particular doctor. So I just, no, they killed and murdered her at the Bellevue Hospital. So she couldn't have been right. Later. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm so still living with right, this. Right. She's dead and you're still alive. Yes, How does that That's exactly it? what I <laughs> What do you think, guys? You think I should have it removed? Well, you know, we got to cancel. We got to cancel the next segment of the show because uh, uh, Turkish was going to come in and suck on right. Otto. He was going to like try to um, no actually sucking. kiss it or, or no something. Sucking. But no, this Anthony, is no highly sucking. not recommended. A lot of reporters, including Bill O'Reilly, ask us where our line is. We found it today. Here it is. Okay, we will not have a guy suck on Twato today. Right. Uh, what, Sandy? Okay. Um, my experience, and I've lived a long time, as you guys Obviously. know, to make fun of, yeah. no. with doctors and dentists, as you see. Um, and I even went for my mouth, and they want to just totally, really destroy it, whatever I had. Well, destroy it. Yeah, totally, ha you know, totally destroy it. Uh, and I don't, oh. I don't believe in doctors, and I'm just going to You don't go. believe in them like the Easter Bunny. I Sandy, so what you're saying, let me get this straight. You're saying you are not getting that taken care of. No. Just get it taken off, you horse's ass. Go to what a doctor. Why don't you get it cut off? Because are you Sandy? Are you still uh, are you uh, sexually yeah. active? No. Is, is, she, is she's spreading uh, that everywhere, isn't she? Sorry, but um, no. Just get a ticket. Do you do you have people pay you money for Hummers? Um, what's a Hummer? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, no, of course not. Uh, any anything for sex? Have you had sex with a man? Any time or, or a it, woman? Yes, many times. Oh, boy. We got a guy in the line that's claiming that he had sex no, I'm with just uh, saying, Sandy. I, I really... Bill, what's up? Bill, you still there? Yeah, Bill. 
Hey, Bill. Uh, hey. Bill died, we just found out on the phone. You know Bill what? A homo. I bet you he hung up because it says, whatever happened with Twato, I slept with her in Nathan's bathroom. Slept. You, he had sex with you in a Nathan's right, bathroom? Right, 23rd Street. You, you, oh. This guy's not lying? Well, he's not there anymore. Well, he had a great hot what dog. Just ran to the emergency great room. Dog. Love the mustard. <laughs> I swallowed did. the mustard. Yeah. <laughs> Holy flower. And the relish. I Ooh. thought it was a hot dog. Eh, eh. So, Docs, mm. what's gonna, what so happened from worse. here to Sandy Kane if she doesn't uh, take care of it? No way of telling, you know what I mean? It may not be one of the bad stereotypes, and it's just yeah. I'm sure it's disgusting, it's and it adds good comedy to your show. Yeah, but, but be, uh, because of the risks. Yeah, the risks. What are the risks of anyone uh, being affected by this without having any type of sex with her? Oh, no, no, it's not spread through the air or anything, but if you're touching that Wait, wait, if, she, if she's fondling it like she just was... And then theoretically touches that door handle, and someone touches the door handle. No. Right, we're safe. No? no? Thank God. Zero. All right, look, I don't care. I want this whole place decontaminated. Please. <laughs> Where's the Lysol? Okay. By Get the way, the Lysol. we should say uh, that this is the doctor's opinion, so exactly. what it is. Well, well, not, even though they're pretty not. sure, and but uh, it's a better... It's, 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 it's not, it's not this, it's not that. No, they no, said what it is. It's Sandy, what it is. there's it's different types of it. We're all in agreement. Yeah, it's definitely Sandy. genital warts. This yeah. show I, sucks. I, I, <laughs> I, I'm agreeing agree with doctors suck. Hey, hey, Can Sandy. I tell you something, Anthony? A couple people called and said they're they're going to quit smoking after the last guy that may have the the throat cancer. Uh, those same people just called back, no joke, and they're, they they started smoking again. Just <laughs> been listening to Sandy. Because of what they just heard with Did Sandy. Did you have that thing on the letter to Senator crack. Daschle? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Nothing you'd ever I'm understand. Boy, Cam Vanilla's legs. Sandy. Um, it's, you, a, it's, a, it's a sad day for Sandy King. You gotta get that uh, taken care. And you have a friend. It has a friend. Yeah, in the rear. It's yeah. got a friend around well, there back. There is a hemorrhoid back there. You guys have no, seen it, no, and they no. they said there wasn't one. I'm not and a doctor. I saw it, but I you I, saw I don't it. Know what the well, hell you it have is. eyes, right? You know what a hemorrhoid is. What? There could also be a hemorrhoid, but it looks like you yeah. have oh in there with God. a camera to see how far in it goes. With a camera. Cause, yeah, because sometimes it goes so far up that they have to remove the entire part of your <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Sandy. I think I'm just going to just keep going, guys. Sandy Kane has a virtual Kellogg snack pack of STDs no, I mean, roaming it's around. Good. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm you, want a, little, you want a little sugar pops I, or you want the cornflakes or I the special K. There's all kinds good. I'm gonna of stuff. Keep going. I'm not you gonna... are a wreck. Sandy Kane is the monkey from Outreach. <laughs> yeah, from Outreach. Why, why don't I maybe have sex with one monkey. of you guys and see oh. if one of you comes down with genital warts? Like I said yesterday, I'd rather get in a dryer. Of razor blades with Magic Johnson. <laughs> hey, what's up? Hey, man, you guys are grossing me out. I gotta run in, take a shower, scrub myself with a wire brush. Yeah, it's. You uh, better, you better decaminate that, decaminate that chair that she's been sitting on. Yeah, it's it's gotten bad. It's. I've been uh, standing. It's I've been standing. Yeah, yeah this is. Uh, Cat from Rockville Center says, "Holy ass, how can you be in the same room with that? I'm spraying my radio with Lysol just from hearing it." <laughs> Uh, we were right the whole time, Anthony. Hazma way. Everyone's suggesting hazmat suits. Yeah, we were right the whole time. And Lou from Brooklyn went, Bill's dead. Oh, no. What happened? <laughs> let's, uh, let's go to Danny. Danny, you're next on the Opie and Anthony show. Hey, guys, you remember that guy who put the preparation H on her uh, he, backside there? He, he's totally fine, and I'll tell you why. He wore gloves, thank God. He wore gloves. Uh, Sandy was complaining about a hemorrhoid, so we had a, a listener put on rubber gloves, uh, put preparation H on his uh, fingers, and apply it to the uh, infected uh, area. And um, we didn't know that there was some something else going on there at the time, but you guys went in there with a flashlight, a mining helmet. They have no doubt in their minds, Anthony. Hey, uh, let's bring in Turkish and uh, give them the bad news. Yeah. Yeah, that he won't be. Turkish? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yo, bro, what's up, man? Hello, Turkish. No, 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 Let me. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, he has what? fake identification. Uh, uh, he can get us in trouble, Turkish. All right, it's, it's yeah, cool, whatever. Yeah, he better not get us in trouble. We're, we're responsible. It doesn't matter because you can't do anything anyway. Yeah, we're responsible broadcasters, oh, so. Come on, let's do it. No, we're, no, we're not going to do it. <sighs> He's going to hit it with a bat. Great. All right, well, uh. We do have some more people. <laughs> you know, I'm done with this. Send everyone home. I've had it. Can we go home? I've had it. Dude, Can yeah. I just say I'm going to be at Stand Up New York tomorrow uh, Tomorrow night? Uh, Stand Up New York, 6 p.m., um, uh, Bill Michaels' uh, show. And I'm also going to be at New York Comedy Club December 28th on Ozzy Baez's 
Latin New Sandy, York. do you have... And watch my TV show. And if you're not in the mood for festering groin comedy, you can go to Jersey Jokers and see me tom uh, tomorrow night. I'm doing two shows without a growth. Sandy, do you have... Uh, you got some between your legs. Sandy, listen to me. Sandy. I hope. Sandy, oh do you have a, a song? Yeah, I do. She's got a new song. For you wanted to sing it? The, yeah, what the, she could sing it before we uh, take a break. What is it about? It's called My Boyfriend's Black. Yeah. All right. Is Dedicated it a... Dedicated to the guy that you threw out of this... Right, right, right. Uh, we, we figured it was, wasn't medically sound for him to be uh, oh, caressing that thing. And, and, I'm, I'm and, as healthy as uh, Roy Campanella's legs. And, uh, and, uh, oh. Cindy, are you bummed at all? Yeah, are you upset with Usually, this? I have so such disrespect for doctors and dentists. Why? Because they're all they're all BS. They're not. Why would they BS you? You're such an ass. <laughs> Down to your core, you're an ass. Because uh, right. these doctors are telling you something. Go get it fixed. Don't be other uh, doctors, you frady cat. Just get it fixed. Why? It doesn't it bother fixed. me. You're it be bothers other, other people. It bothers other people. You're giving other people. Oh. Wow, if oh. that wasn't plain oh. English. Oh. Wow, okay. Well, you know, we had to jump out of that, more, but at least man. he gave her a... Uh, more, more to love. More to love. More to love. Yes. It is. I think it's like it's famous down there. I love it. Oh, oh wait a minute. They're looking at something else. Hold on. Good. Doctor, what are you looking at? We'd like to look at her nose for a second because there's something uh, yeah, going on over there. Sandy, what is that? Let me look. Okay, this wait, is... we never noticed the nose before. Yeah, yeah. Well, my nose. Wait, Take you, a look, You knew doc. it, too? Yeah. Let me see. Most witches have that. <laughs> <laughs> They're looking at her nose. Yeah. God damn it. No, that, that was something. I had something removed, so, and then it was... All right, what is, uh, nothing on her nose? Oh, look, look nose. they're just investing. They're Mini looking nose at it. Job. She, she's so like a... Are you guys going to remove it for free? She's or? like a new planet that's just gonna being photographed Is this going to be like, I'm going to get free implants? I'm going to get a free, um, growth removal from you guys? All right, listen. We're, uh, do Are you wanna... they going to remove it for me? You said you don't no. want to deal you with don't it. Want it but would they remove it? No, you got to go to a specialist. Well, yeah. Are they specialists? Who are they? you got to go to a vet. Are they... A vet? <laughs> no, well, a specialist. What is that that they're specialists? If they're, the if, they, if they're such dedicated doctors, why don't they remove it if they care? Oh, God. All right, Sandy, you want to sing your song? They don't care. No. But that's a doctor for Remove you. it with a howitzer. Sandy, you want to sing your song? Sure, I do. Yeah, sing your song. All right, got to put headphones on, okay? Okay. Oh, uh, no. Make sure you throw away those headphones after Sandy leaves. All right, you ready, Sandy? I heard that. Oh, your headphones are <laughs> on. Sorry. It's my headphones. All right, Dildo. Don't worry about it. All right, Sorry. here we go. Oh, that poor thing. <laughs> here we go. Okay? Likes you. Man. Here we go. Everyone pick up junk. There we go. Sandy, I can sing this song. My boyfriend's black, is it, okay? this my boyfriend's black and his name is Mike Tyson. Boy, he likes to rape me because I'm Jewish. Oh. <laughs> My boyfriend's black and his name is O.J. Hey. He killed his wife with a knife, I say. Hey. My boyfriend is black. <laughs> They are really throwing stuff at him. No, I mean, oh ah. my God, they threw a chair my at him. My boyfriend's black and his name <laughs> is Michael Jackson. <laughs> He's a pedophile. Uh, right, he right, likes right. the action. Oh, I, I, oh, Jesus. My boyfriend is black. All right, I've had enough of her. Wait, wait, wait. wait so, what makes you believe that you believe all your lies, OJ? Oh, it's the worst you song ever. You got a big black, <laughs> and I really love your size, I say. The way he hit her in the head, Aunt. Oh. My boyfriend's black and his name is O.J. Hey. Everyone he killed his her. wife with a knife, I say, hey. Oh. All right. Okay. My boyfriend is black. All right. So all you black guys out there, I love you. All right. In fact, I'm getting a, a new black vibe ready. Just after the show, right? Oh, 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 black one and a white one. Oh, oh, I love you, oh, 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 o
All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, Santa Kate, everyone. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank uh, you. Right. Elvis, baby. All right. Do you like a hua. Thank you, Santa. I am a hua. Uh-oh, we broke one of the microphones. And, and so with doctors. What was that? Which mic is broke? Oh, no, it sounds better now. All right, Santa, give your plugs. Okay. Is that supposed Thanks, to be sexy? <laughs> hey, is that Andrew Dice Clay? Oh, um, my God. Okay, my plugs are I will be at Stand Up New York tomorrow night. You're the ugliest stripper I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, at Stand Up New York. And, ooh, what are you doing down there? What's, what's buzzing? Uh, oh, uh, turn that goddamn thing off. Oh, it's her, uh, her device. Zildo. Oh, jeez. I don't want to get the AIDS, fellas. No ass. <laughs> You're a filthy whore. How about a nice bucket of AIDS? No, Bobby, you have to stand up in New York tomorrow night Remember, at 6 o'clock. You're a drag queen. <laughs> at Bill uh, Michael's uh, thing. Shut I want to say hello to Ozzy Baez at New York Comedy Club. Shut I'll be there up. December 28th. Yeah. Me and Swato and Zildo. And also watch my own show, oh, the Sandy K Blue Comedy Show, gotcha. on Manhattan Neighbor gotcha. Network Channel 56, RCN 108. It's also on in Hollywood, 18 and 2 cables. And I just still don't believe in doctors, so I don't believe More than ever, I don't. You're Baby, violated. I just don't, honey. I just don't. Goodbye. All right. Goodbye. Thank, right. You. Right. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Good, good riddance. Right. Goodbye. All right. All right. All right. Uh, we All throw right. you out of the studio, but no one wants to touch you, so. <laughs> uh, there you have it, gang. Sandy Kane, Twato equals genital warts. Warts. And it has a friend in the back area. Oh, God damn. I am so completely disgusted. Guys, all right, look, you're all professionals and everything. I understand that. But when you see something like that, there's a basic human reaction to it. I mean, it, it's horrific. It's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it's never pleasant. It really is. Yeah, hard. yeah. And you knew right when you saw it. You're oh, like, yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, I saw it on the website. Anyway. Yeah. I was like, oh, top that's easy. Top ten things uh, you've seen in your life that... It, uh, what am I trying... I, yeah. It's, it's one of the most disgusting, disgusting things you've ever seen. It's up there. Yeah. It's, it's hard as a, whole, as a whole as person. A whole, the cousin around back is worse than uh, oh, Quattro itself. God. Really? The cousin. Yeah, it looked like it might have had twins. They were like two oh. of them coming out. I mean, oh, God. God. No kidding around. They can crawl up the, oh, the rectal right. canal. They can keep cr going and growing yeah, yeah. and crawling into certain areas that... Okay, great. That's fantastic. I am completely disgusted. Docs, is it safe to say we're going to have two less listeners by this time next year? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe three. Oh, oh. Maybe three? The, an another guy? that no, saw it's two. Well, okay. One's blind. Yeah, one yeah, will be able yeah, to... Yeah, one will be able to... Oh, God. Oh, oh my today's God. today's show, you may lose, you know, thousands of listeners. Is it is safe to assume... Uh, uh, Sandy Kane's cervix looks like uh, Sonny Corleone after the fall. <laughs> 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 a rectum looks like the horse's head in the bed. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, let's take a break, Anthony, huh? Oh, oh, don't right. get that part. The Opie and Anthony Show. It's like listening to Corky and Karen Quinlan. Opie and Anthony. I'd rather hear my penis in a vice than listen to those two. The Opie and Anthony Show. And we're back with the Opie and Anthony Show. Hanging with a bunch of doctors. Boy, you guys are a bunch of laughs. Tim Norton in the studio, Anthony. Yeah. What a day, what a day, what a day. Ugh. You all right, Tim? This is really... This, people think it's cringe radio to listen to. Try looking at it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm you so... see a bunch of doctors go... Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> That's never good, That's right? That's frightening. I'm, uh... We might have to start the What Do We Learn segment early today because they're just... It's off the chart. Oh, my God. We're getting so many. What an education people got, whether they liked it or not. We got a dentist on the line that's a little pissed off. Uh, Vince, what's up? Hey, how you guys going? All right, man. Listen, I'm a dentist in New Jersey, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking you guys are scaring the hell out of that guy, Pete. He just, he, it's not. It can be cancer, but I don't think it is. I think it's something else. Well, you didn't see it or feel it. I did, exactly. I know, I know I didn't. But the, where they were describing it at, it's more likely from either tooth bone or maybe like a, a salivary tumor or something like that. Well, hopefully you're right. That's right. I'm praying you're right, Doc. But you never know. It could be the big, the big casino also. All right. All right? Love Thank you guys. You. All right. Bye. They didn't say it was cancer. Definite they maybe. They get it checked. They just, uh, you know, gave their opinions. Yeah. Right. No diagnosis today. Uh, well, Hung, what's up? Hey, man, I just figured out what to send Bin Laden for Christmas. Huh. Sandy Kane. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. God damn! Imagine her just running around. Like, eh, eh, I'll infect you. I, I, I. Yeah. She's like the poster girl for STDs from the 1920s. Yeah, 
She's Jesus. The, the girl you just don't touch. Hey, right? Oh, oh ah. <laughs> Gina, what's going on? Yeah, I, I got a solution to uh, two problems. Yeah. Uh, usually when you have a wart, they cauterize it. Norton wants to quit smoking. He can have his smoke his last cigarette and have him put it out on her wart, <laughs> cauterize it, and so this way, every time he goes to light up another cigarette, he can think of that. Think of the smell that comes Wart off the burning ball. wart. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. I just want to thank you. I, I learned two valuable lessons. I quit smoking, and I stopped banging 99-year-old whores. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, B-Dog from D.C., what's up? <laughs> Uh, just like I told the chick, I'm just disgusted and repulsed beyond all recognition and comprehension. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Awful. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, what are you guys, what are you guys going to do Monday? I mean, I love your show. Norton's great. But what are you going to do Monday, man? You're going to bring a bunch of doctors in and bring in like 10 AIDS victims to see who's going to die faster? No, no. No, <laughs> home of shopping spree Tuesday, my friend. Tuesday. Tuesday. Doing something uh, good for the holidays. Oh, God. I, just like you said earlier, Opie, I tossed my cigarettes out. I kept like two or three, and then I had to go pick the pack up off the ground and smoke like five more. <laughs> All right, big dog. Yeah. We're going to come see you guys soon. Thank you. All right, see ya. All right. Uh, there's a couple other guys. Do we have time? Maybe real fast. What do you want to do? It's up to you. Ugh. Do they have anything potentially life-threatening? <laughs> yeah, I know. We don't have much time. Just keep them out can if I, they do. I, just, I have to plug one thing real quick because there was somebody... I have to do it. Whore. I am at this. I am a whore. I know there's cancer all over the place, and I'm doing a gig tomorrow. Uh, it, yeah, Jersey Joker is <laughs> at a Holiday Inn in Tom's River. I'll be hanging myself at the end of the late show. <laughs> but it, I am there tomorrow. Somebody called, and the retard said, "No, he's not here. I'm there tomorrow night. It's two shows. Thank you." All right, Eileen, what's going on? Well, I got a question for you, or I got a question for the doctors. Actually, I, I, I see what you want to say, so be very careful. Okay. Our listeners um, are very intelligent. They could figure out what you're saying. Okay. It kind of looks like acne, and, like, it can get, like, I want to say pus-filled kind of thing, like, and... A little pussy? Yeah, and it's on the on the inside of the door. It's yeah. just oh, oh. on the inside of the door. All right. It could be a bunch of things. could be a bunch of things. Rick, 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 Rick it's. Who said Rick it's? <laughs> Rick it's. <laughs> Rick it's. Got the rickets. You, you, you didn't sleep with uh, Sandy Kane, did you? No, I didn't. Eh, eh. All right, uh, what docs, real fast. There's too many things to yes. tell. Uh, that could too be broad, broad, yeah. too broad. Sit have, in have some stride. Have you seen strides. a doctor yet? Huh? Has she seen a doctor? Yeah, Eileen, uh, you see a doctor on this one? No, I, I ain't seen a doctor about it, but I was just wondering, you know, if you know, if they could give me a general idea of what they think it is. Uh, too many, too many things it could uh, well, be. He, she needs to have uh, a GYN exam and. Yes, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you go to a gyno? Well, yeah, I've been there, but they, they never said nothing about it. Never said nothing about it? No, they just, you know, they do the regular exam, and then they don't say nothing about it. Did you and ask sometimes, about it? Pardon? Did you ask about it? No. All right, so don't do anything. Just wait till you're sitting on a subway, and you stand up, and the seat comes with you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eileen, uh, go to the doctor, yeah. and he'll, he'll uh, let you know, I guess, all right? Okay. All right. Uh, Uncle John, what's up? Hey, guys. Hey. hey Sandy, <laughs> should wear a, Stan, Sandy should wear a sign that says, do not enter, and change your name to the wart hag. <laughs> I'll tell you. Wart hag. You, know nice yeah. you know what's nice about being syndicated? Yeah. You've ruined dinner time nationwide. No doubt. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hey, John, how uncomfortable did it get today? Oh, man. I, You've I, been I, listening I was... to us for a long time. Yeah, this was one of the toughest. Well, I'll tell you, this was one of the toughest. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was scary. We were all having really fun was. and stuff, and all uh, out of nowhere, it, it, it took a drastic left hand turn off a cliff. Big time. Wow. Oof, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm still, I'm still shivering. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, all right, man, I, I'll catch you. I can't tell you how many people said that they'll never smoke again after today's show. Yeah. All right, uh, and we've got a break again because we went real late with the Cindy. Yeah, I well, know. When we come back, we're going to have a really good round of what do we learn on the Opie There's Anthony so show. many good ones. Are you bastards ready to rock? Opie and Anthony. When you actually find them rubbing the feces on the wall. The Opie and Anthony show. Psychotic apes. Is this for shock factor? Oh, my God. We're back with the Opie and Anthony show. Oh, my God. Uh, Rick says the guy with the puffy... Uh, the puffy um, uh, nips <laughs> is pretty cool looking. You got to see these. All right, bring them in real fast. I'll, I'll start. What do we learn as uh, Rick invites the last guy in for what the hell is that? Okay, Anthony? Uh, fine. Okay. Uh, Chuck from Lindbrook, New York writes, Today I learned that I don't want to get the ninja, fellas. You guys suck. 
Uh, Harry from Philly. I learned Sandy Kane has a Kellogg snack pack of S STDs. <laughs> yep. Sandy has sex with people in comas. And Osama is living in Sandy's uh, balloon knot. Ken from Jersey. Today I learned that the doctor's reaction to Twato is... Oh, man. Yeah, we got to play that on uh, Monday. You, you guys, uh, the reaction when you first saw Twato was just fantastic. And Ted from Connecticut, before we get to uh, Puffy Nipple Guy. Yeah. Can you say that? Yeah, you can say that. All right, good. Uh, Ted writes, I know it's a little early for what did I learn, but I learned uh, I finally figured out what happened to Earl's brain. When he was in the womb, it involuted. <laughs> involuted. There you go. Very good. So, uh, what's your name, bro? Mike. Hey, Mike. We don't have much time, so I guess we got to get right to it. You got, you got this problem with your... Uh, Wow. Oh. <laughs> Lift them both. Lift them both. Lift them both. Oh, my God. Again, oh. if I could make the reference to the uh, album cover. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Blind Faith. Blind Faith. You look like the little girl on the Blind Faith. The little Faith. girl on the Blind <laughs> Faith album, album cover. cover. And why did you shoot Gunnery Sergeant Hartman? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, Robin Pyle. Oh. Uh, Puffy Nips. Yeah. What do you guys think? Gynocomastia, Absolutely. it's called. They protrude. Gynocomastia? Man boobs? Yep. Man, man, boobs. Boobs. man boobs. And how is that taken care of? Uh, it depends what causes them. Yeah. There's a lot of different causes. How long you had them like that, uh, sir? Uh, ever since I remember. Yeah? I'm oh. sure kids are uh, very uh, kind when it comes to things like that in school. That. You know, we've I've seen got we've seen man boobs. This is yeah. a little different. It's the whole nip, it's just the nip area the is very way out. Puffy. Way out. Those are uh, pink and delicious looking. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, it's nice to know we could end on an up note with yeah, uh, there man you boobs. Go. It's yeah. no problem. Uh, very good. It squirt as far as that last guy. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's all right. It's not life threatening. <laughs> I hope. And uh, uh, I don't think so. Very good. Can we put a picture of that up on the web? Oh, I don't care. All right. Get the uh, profile. Steve from FoundryMusic.com may have some good video for, you. for your viewing pleasure. He has probably some of the sickest video we've ever seen yeah. from uh, today. Yeah. And if you don't know how to get to FoundryMusic.com, go to OpieAndAnthony.com and, and uh, there'll be a link, okay? Steve, what's going on? What did you learn on the show today? Howdy. Hey. Faggots. <laughs> yeah, what's up? <laughs> okay, I learned a few things. First, I learned I'm never going to smoke again. Second, I learned I'll be seeing Norton at the Jersey Chokers show tomorrow. Okay. And third, I learned that Opie's left hand had fallen victim to bacterial vaginosis. <laughs> yeah. Very good, Steve. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Who knew uh, lurking right uh, just behind uh, Twato was the more evil Mecca Twato <laughs> <laughs> on Sandy Kane. Stoner, because the Mecca uh, is uh, always <laughs> a lot more dangerous than the regular one. Yes. Stoner, go ahead. Stoner. What's up? I learned that uh, the FU line is on B, not A. Hey, good one. <laughs> Again. And you can get to the FU line through opianthony.com. <laughs> It's such a great bit that uh, other people enjoy it as well on other radio stations. Hey, just call it other things. Just call it other things and hope no one notices. Yeah, great. Schlocko. Big Lou from Buffalo. I learned today on a uh, more effective than those stupid quit smoking ads. Yeah, I hope so. Franz from Jersey. I learned that if a girl ignores her area, it's like a haunted house with hair. Uh, two, I learned that homeless people use dual shopping carts for tax reasons. And I learned that the, uh, the AIDS is called Ninja on the streets. The yeah. Ninja. Let me uh, go to Jay. Jay. I learned I never want to be a doctor. Yeah. What's up, Shwiggies? Hey, Jay, what's up? Hey, I learned I don't want anything involuted on my body. <laughs> yes. What's up, Bugs? Later. All right, man. Hey, Vic, you're next on the Opie and Anthony Show. Hey. Go ahead, hey. Vic. Yeah, I learned today that the only way to really cure Sandy Kane yeah. is a shotgun with a toe attachment. <laughs> yep. No in rules. Thank Thanks, you, boys. All right. Oh, God, I'm so skeeved out by today. Why? Ah, it's just Sandy Kane being in the same, like that her, the air that's going into her lungs and being breathed out might actually be breathed in by uh, me. Yeah. J Jay, what's up? Right, She's a mess. Yeah, what's up, Jay? Uh, all right, at first it's fine, but then you start stirring the juices. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Stirring the juices. Hey, do the doctors have any plugs? Nothing? You all set? Yeah, they're going to keep it on the QT. The one doc was telling us a great story during commercials. Yeah, that's a good one. About a little exam and a guy having a little problem while the exam was going. Oh, you can pretty much say what uh, what happened. Uh, he, he was uh, uh, giving the guy a, a finger probe to make sure everything was clear for, for an enema, is uh, what it is. 
And uh, the second he, he started his uh, examination in that fashion, the guy uh, had a happy ending all over the table. And you know what's really, really annoying is I've continually apologized. <laughs> and the guy still holds it against you, know Norton? Yeah. <laughs> 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 don't, oh. forget, don't forget Tuesday on the Opie and Anthony show, homeless shopping spree. Yeah. Uh, Denise from Delaware learned that almost everyone's third nip involutes when they were born, and I had to learn how to spell involute today. Uh, after our Mike from Dub Bronx, today I learned that even doctors cover their eyes and grimace. That is true. We saw it. Carlos from Jersey, I learned uh, uh, you could go to the local A&P and drive away in a new or used Cadillac. Mm. After our Mike from Hell, I learned when you lick your lips on the train, you get cancer. Oh, God. Wow. Well, we don't know for sure. Uh, uh, Cecil from Philly, I learned if my salad turns white after putting vinegar on it, don't eat it. <laughs> uh, that's words to live by, Lloyd. <laughs> Scott, what's up? Yo, I learned that the kid who said he stuck on Twato changed his mind. Well, no, we, uh, we changed. No, we, we said there's no way we're uh, going to have him do that. Yeah. Very <laughs> good. Let's go to Dan. Dan, what's going on? Hey, how you doing? All right. I learned that uh, the FBI got a hot tip in the uh, Senator Daschle case. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Should be arresting Sandy. Uh, Repo George. Hey, what's happening, boys? Hey. Hey, I learned today that if a doctor says something's bizarre or cool, you're in big trouble. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why am I laughing? You're right. Thank you, George. Jonathan. Uh, Hello. Hey, Jonathan, what's up? Hey, all I got to tell you is I'm so nauseous that my balls ache. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to give you guys a call today because I wanted to tell you about a benefit show that I'm doing on Monday night at the Vanderbilt in Plainview. On Long Island. Cool. Yeah. What do you um, got? I got Deep and Out of Blackout coming. Okay. The Grapes of Vaudevillian Fantasy. Okay. Red yeah. Flannel Hash featuring Rob Barocco from Phil Lesh and Friends. Okay. Undercover Funk and the legendary Little Buster and the Soul Brothers. All right, and it's uh, it's obviously a nine one one disaster relief benefit, and all the money's going to Robin Hood, the folks that did the big show at the Garden. And I'm hoping maybe you guys will come down, and maybe all listeners will come down. It's only a twenty dollar ticket, and all the bucks is going to do some good. All I'll right. still be in a bathtub. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're we're going to be uh, I'm going to be sprayed down <laughs> all weekend long. I'm yes. going through a car wash on the way home. <laughs> Sounds reasonable. Thank you, Jonathan. Thanks very much, guys. All right, cool. Bye. Uh, Dean from Staten Island. I learned last time Sandy went to a gynecologist. Voss's jokes were funny. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Poor Voss. He's not even here to defend oh, himself. Oh, he never is. Stacy. Yeah. Hey. I learned two things. One, there's a studio full of people who are going to have to go home and take a bath in acid. Yeah. And two, you can diagnose Twato, but we still can't figure out what the hell it's attached to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, someone was suggesting we ask Twato if he, uh, it wants Sandy Kane removed. <laughs> Yin Yang Twato. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Yin Yang Twato, very funny. One for two. <laughs> Mike, what's up? Hey, I tuned in late today, but I just want to let you know that Jim Norton doesn't know where uh, he works. No. No, he's actually going to the Howard Johnson, not to the Holiday Inn. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Thank you. Howard. Hey, no problem, man. I'll be there. Wow. Thank God, because the Holiday Inn would have been embarrassing. But... Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Howard Johnson and Tom's River is quite the yeah, step Howard up. Howard Johnson. All right. Thank you. Let's, Later, man. Let's go to Chris. Chris, what did you learn on the show today? Hey, I learned that uh, my boyfriend is black. <laughs> <laughs> Some people enjoyed the Sandy Kane song. Yeah. All right. And I also learned... <gasps> <laughs> okay, well, he probably did that a few times. Rich, then. what's going on? Rich? Hello? All right, we lost Rich? Okay. Yeah. John from the Boston area. Holy F, thank you for making my smoking history. I was smoking a butt when that guy was being looked at. <clears throat> F it. That's it. I put the thing out, and that is, and that is it. No more. Again, thanks, and uh, good luck Tuesday. Paul writes, I just want to be the first to say that today I learned the last time Sandy Kane stripped for money, Roy Campanella had legs, and bonus, the Dodgers were in Brooklyn. <laughs> All right. Wow. What a, what a day. Uh, Dave? Yeah, what's up? Hey, man. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, I got two things I learned today. Yeah. Uh, first, if it's white and it's not smelly, it's okay. Yeah. But if it's white and it smells of haste and marathon runners, that's bad. <laughs> Very bad. And then I learned that um, you probably need a tongue with four-wheel drive to get over Sandy Kane's in, uh, yeah. genital rock formation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. All right, you guys rule, man. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. Thank um, 
Bert from Jersey suggesting that uh, Twato's uh, brother be called Budo, <laughs> which is pretty funny. <laughs> All right. Budo. Why not? In Bastien Pierre. Chris writes, I learned cancer equals radio kryptonite. Oh, of course. I learned Twato has a little friend. By this time next year, two less listeners. And Cindy Kane's rectum looks like a horse's head. <laughs> All right, I Tuttle saying today I learned it's all funny until someone gets cancer. <laughs> we don't know for sure. Of course not. You just got to get it checked out. Okay, well, we're done. Nobody picked this up? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, I learned Allison is the hottest doctor I've ever seen in my life. There you go. She was very cool today, and you guys were very cool as well, so thanks for helping us. Yeah, out, right? guys, thank you uh, very much. And uh, we will never, ever be doing this again. <laughs> no. Uh, all the other radio stations can have this bill. Take it away. We are done with this one. Take it and run with it, you bastards. All right, Ant. Uh, have a great weekend. Yes. And Monday, Gene Simmons on the show. And Tuesday, the homeless shopping spree, too. Oh, can't wait. We met, who was his name? Rock and Roll Tommy or Timmy? Or? Rock and Roll Tommy. Tommy. 500. <laughs> Rock and Roll Tommy race. <laughs> all right, we got to get out. Ben's freaking stuff. All right, man. Thank you. Later. You guys have deteriorated to beyond belief right now. The Opie and Anthony Show. Thank you.